Spawning in the blue color, kicking off the grand finals of MetaPlace's third Halo Wars 2 season in the Goliath tournament. This is EOD Spot and Seb playing as Anders. And over here on the red side, we have Almirante going Decimus, once again going Gen first. He's the only player I've seen this do this more than one time. So we'll see how he utilizes this. Yeah, so it has all come down to this. We are in a best of seven here. This is the last series of this season. Then we're gonna have a winter break. We'll be back soon after. But yeah, hell of an action-packed series to come, no doubt. As always. $350 are gonna be on the line. Winner taking home 150. Second place, I believe, around 100. Third and fourth place have already been decided between Rock Gen and Hero Absolution. You guys can watch that separately. So far, all, uh, EOD decided to go straight for both his minis, getting both of them. Already has a supply pad on one, so he's had it for quite a while. Uh, Almirante just oh, grabbed yeah. his second mini. Grab the first he's kind of not making any though. units, so that allows him to also get the second generator. Very interesting build. Maybe not that safe, but so long as it works for him. Jackrabbit picking up what power he can. It's not much, but it's it's gonna make it work. Now Anders is really good on Rift because you can get access to the Super Sentinel. With that, you can fly over all these cliffs. Hit the bases real hard. Yeah, you get high ground on every single base in the game. At some in some level. So you can get the retriever sentinel above the mountain behind the main bases. already having almost halfway to tech two. He has some power to grab still too in this side. Rock or Almirante taking the time to grab the first node of the game. He's gonna be a little bit behind. Rock is already or Rock, I gotta get used to the players playing now. EOD is already at eight hundred power. He just needs to get a, um, a oh, yeah. hero. Almirante. Do you think this is kind of a Warthog game from here? Um, does he have enough to survive Or are we going to play infantry? I was thinking, just because uh, he has r and I was thinking hero plus dispersion nozzle flamers, personally. Right. It's a good idea. I mean, that gets rid of the grunts. Exactly. And they become pesky little bastards with... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> With the heels, so depends on what he scouted and what he sees. He does have see so just to keep in mind, he has a uh, jackrabbit and a whole command way behind Almirante, so that might come and play later with that retriever. First step, does he save the base? He will get. Oh no! The turret does finish, but barely. Shield's already taken down. Almost was able to get that alive. Base is up. Grenade throws coming in. But he doesn't have any. Oh wow! This might have been a little too ambitious. Vortex is already down. There's no big amount of uh, DPS here. Grenade throws here, so he can just finish off these units. He is on offense as well with some marines. Yeah, they're gonna get a generator there. Yeah, with grenade throw he can. He's already already getting combat tech. Fifteen seconds out. Whoa. This is why yeah, this is upgrades a... really fast thanks to R and D. Mm -hmm. There's the gen down. He's gonna have to kill that raid camp next. Very nice start by EOD for sure, but 
he also looks to be losing this generator. It hurts when you don't have a turret, right? We talked about this many times during this tournament. And every time it's not there, people end up losing sockets to the buildings. Wait, I mean, the back gen. Ooh, Ami. You're in trouble, buddy. Yep. No way to defend that. He. It, it all comes down to whether EOD can defend at home at the moment. Yeah. He's way ahead of Ami. Ami does have enough power to go to Tech 2, but that does, does it even matter at this point? All the grunts around yeah, the hero are green, dead. So just... like, look, they can heal at home. This is this is fine. Yep. Nothing's on fire at all. Minus the uh, armory. He, I wish he'd build, be building a turret on the opposite corner of where the Warlord is. Though. Oh, yeah, true. He has the supply for it. But he is still doing harassments on Almi's home, uh, home base. He's got a great split concaving around that Ray camp, oh. making Stewie's very difficult to be used. The only power in cover. Warlord's dead. Oh my god. That's that's a huge pickoff. All right, so what's going on here? Almi's dead, dude. That's what's going on here. That was ambitious, and it worked out for EOD early. Quick game one. Six and a half minutes. That was quick. Blue color, ELD's bot and sub is doing what he's done actually before. Back to Yap Yap. And on the other side, Ami being our favorite right now, he's going Kinsano. He's our favorite because no one else does that. Thanks for this. Rarely get the opportunity. Just makes me think of that previous season finale where Rock and Ami absolutely destroyed each other in the Cutter versus Kinsano. Uh, hope we're gonna see something that action packed. Wonder what Ami was expecting out of EOD. Did he expect the Yap Yap or did he just. just. was he aiming for something else? I think this is aiming for Cutter almost every time. Just because that guy likes to go infantry, and then you have these um, flame hog drops and whatever. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. But then there's Diego, so uh, it's it's still a very close matchup. So. EOD was able to get one mini, but he also got one stolen. Looks like he's going to get a second one stolen, too. That would be trouble. You really don't want to be behind against any aggressive kind of leader, especially Kinsano. Might just get Jackrabbited here, although, you know, the heavy grunts are still really strong against Jackrabbits. So maybe, maybe not the way to go. But this early on in the game, especially when you combine it with... With the hell drop, I could see it. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to deal with for EOD. So he has two minis. He actually is gonna get a ray camp on the one on Almi's side. So I wonder if he's gonna actually be able to do anything with that. I have expected a second gen to just quick tech, but didn't go for it. Population Almirante only has nine. Hmm. 49 from uh, EOD. Obviously, we know some of that's cannon fodder, but there's still a decent amount of choppers on the map, too. Uh, choppers and grunt riders. Is he going straight for the main? He is. Very well, oh, might be. Oh, lord. Again, we know that the hell drop is an option, So, but that rally flag is on the back of Almi's main with a chopper already there. Turret? Oh no, he preloaded the mines. He could have put that on the oh, turret. Wait. I was surprised to see that. 
Oh, the Yap Yap mines. Damn. Yeah. Put it in that like ramp up there, but he's losing his grunt riders because he's not protecting them. So, yeah, the red line is an interesting response here. Oh, that chopper. It's kind of working out. Turret's coming up. This is this is okay for Ami. Yep. For now. The choppers are still spooky. <laughs> like, it depends on if he can get a run, grunt rider on the base. He's lost two already just to choppers. He's got one, like, almost there, but I think that... Well, one jackrabbit's probably going to be able to finish it off if he focus fires on it. He does. Because the, the turret's only going to shoot the cannon fodder for the most part. Oh, the mines go off right before he gets... Uh the upgrade for the jackrabbit so he does lose one red bars another but it will heal up so it wasn't that much choppers do get the upgrade as well he's going for a second gen at the moment yeah look at this just the gen getting targeted down cannon father tanking the turret which is a really a big issue for a unsc player and jackrabbit is he could target turrets <laughs> Yeah. Enough choppers here, you'll be able to kill this gen. I really don't need base damage. If all me is just gonna s not defend at home. Yeah, you can just move out of the way and the turret will retarget onto a cannon fodder, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's trying to clear out the mini that's uh, pre popping, but I don't know if it's co it'll it's, like cost effective to not save your gen. Yeah, it creates a lot of problems because the other guy, meanwhile, going double gen, which are upgraded, by the way, getting an expo. Uh, yeah. The mini base yeah. situation is very nice for Ami, but the extra base makes up for it. Yep, and Ami has no power income at all and cannot upgrade this gen that he just lost. He's actually putting the gen on the back mini now because he can't even do anything else. Ami wants to go on offense instead, but there is a turret here. Only one, yeah, though. how do you like this JR counterattack? Well, the, I, unless he can find that expo of, of EODs, I don't like it. If he finds the expo... By that time... Then that, one thing. If he finds that expo, because he, he's killing uh, EOD's last ec mini, right? So if he mm -hmm. keeps EOD down to one base, then Kinsano is the worst leader to be going against one base. Absolutely the worst. Because you can, even if you have a shield gen, you pop the shield gen with nap Napalm Strike. You don't have any way of keeping that up. But if you can get this second expo before EOD upgrades or anything, then it's fine. But he's in a choke point with a beam there, and this oh, is no, 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 nowhere no, no. to go. Absolutely nowhere to go. Jesus Christ. There's a that drop didn't turret just there, happen. but that is not going to matter. Drop turret won't last much longer. It will kill up a couple oh. choppers. He does kill that mini and takes it for himself, but Almirante is still sitting at 56 power. If he wants to build Jackrabbit, <laughs> it costs... population, dude. Yeah. He's on fire. Yep. He's going to go out there and clear that. He does have that second mini as well. He's building an engineer for a little bit of healing. He has a lot of red bar units. Now, Ami does have a bunch of minis around the map, so his supply is going to be coming in clutch. But he has no shot of getting to Tech 2 anytime soon. He's going to be preying on the drops. Does have one upgraded gen. Hoping to get a second one soon. But well, all the while, he's going to be saving up for a second gen upgrade. And EOD is now Tech 2. Almost. He's, uh... 15 seconds out. More and more jackrabbits getting made, and that's about it for Ami. He's going Banish double. typically doesn't care. <laughs> you could see just Banshees from here. Yeah. Granted, they're probably the weakest Banshees in the game. Yep, yep. Maybe halves are weaker. There's no, there's no buffs, is what I'm trying to say, to the Banshees. So, it looks like it will get scouted out, though. Gonna have two Banshees before that happens. Well, it's funny, the two Banshees, two banshees can kill the whole spotted, that's, <laughs> that's not the tech switch that EOD had in mind. <laughs> nope. 
The longer this goes on, you, uh, Hero can, or, uh, Hero. Almirante can play this game with just his drops. He has enough minis on the map to where he can just collect supply pads. Dude, he does clear out one mini. It's gonna be the second one he's cleared out because he eventually had none of them. Morante's on That's triple that, turret. Three at home. Yep. Nobody said anything about defending the back mini though. Yeah, I think there's not enough here though. Two jackrabbit or two. Three Banshees. I think he needs to switch out of Banshees quickly. I don't like the continuation of that. No need for it. Oh, he's still pumping, right? I see. Yeah. He's losing like three, four, five of them right there, and he's still trying to pump Banshees. He needs to switch out. Well, I guess taking over the minis is priority number next. <laughs> and here come the Grunt Hustles as well. Gotta be careful though, you gotta defend that expo. Right now there's no turrets on it. Cause you gotta think Almirante's gonna have leader points like Warthog drop and stuff with DPS. These mini bases are slowly falling, but it takes so long for choppers to kill them that it's not time like a good thing for time. It's better than nothing, but not ideal. The four banshees would be a good answer to, to running around these minis. And once you spot that the marines are down here, you might want to think about going back to that uh, Mexican gen in the back. Lots of options for that, really. Yeah, the only other option I can see is if he decides to really commit to the banshees, goes to the main, and just does a grunt dome. It's hard for is he, the only way that he can counter a grunt dome is really just uh, dropping some sort of leader power. Amarante, finally the first person to take up a node, now has two of them. Took ten minutes in the game for a node to be taken. Going for a third. Amarante's definitely coming back into this. It just depends on how EOD decides to play from here. Here's the foundry switch. Grunt goblins are now being built. They're already upgraded. The grunt also at least. Combat mechanics, yeah. Please don't go with Banshees anymore. Now, this has re triggered Redline, and that's gonna hit pretty damn hard if you can get into a fight with this. Right now, EOD doesn't have really much to defend with, so this is a really good time to strike, but unfortunately, all units are going to some random cannon fodder. Not the best use of this, sadly. bit of engagement here in the middle. Those red line units are going to be hard to deal with. EOD does have three go go grunt goblins here now. They're about to get charged on launcher in five seconds. They're going to be a force. Both bases are going to have a, t a shield now. EOD floating two leader points. He actually just clicked them as I say that. Oh, well, you know what? Sano's coming out. She can maybe change things up a bit for us. Too bad about not seeing anything out of Redline. Peaceful game. Yeah, that's kind of a still bit now. Working up to tier three. Really just working on infantry upgrades and all that. Third base, of course. 
but composition is not looking too hot. Yeah, I was gonna say both like, players. This is a lot of choppers. Both players still have a lot of Tech One units in, in their army comps. I gotta find a way to get rid of them. I like the next generator for army. That's like number four by now. Four for EOD now too. There's that Kinsano leader just killing can of butter like it's nothing. Hmm. Maybe she'll get veterancy. <laughs> yeah, right. You never get to see that. But if we did. Maybe I'm trying to think if I've ever seen a vet free Kinsano leader. Vet free? No, I. That's okay. You have to be like, intentionally going that. for it, obviously. You have to actually be like, oh, yeah. that is your goal. I like that, please don't shoot me out of EOD. His army was not in the best position to be taking that fight quite yet, but the numbers are what he wants. You are Tommy just floating money now at this point. He needs yeah, to get back under that shield. In. See, I... Mm, we'll see how that plays out. I don't know if I love that. That's why. I didn't quite stun, but the mine still detonate, doing it. Yeah, there's not damage a... there. You got the, the gun, grunt goblins are right next to it. They should be able to heal these pads. Yeah, I totally agree. And the engineer is reducing the damage by a lot too. Shiojin gets healed up as well by a lot. Not much UNSC left now. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that Inferno. Although he's oh. not stopped committed to this. Oh, the beam is beam, yeah. the tank. That two or not doesn't matter. They going. He's dropping everything into this. Every leader power armor Ante has is going into this at the moment. I'm sure there's more where that came from. Yeah, you can see a big drop here for uh, EOD as well. Yep, there's a hell charge drop. Fighting underneath turrets this whole time too. The, even if the turrets aren't upgraded, they still provide DPS. Oh my and there's god! There's the shield coming back up. Enough time between hitting the base just gets the shield back up, and that whole push uh, did nothing to the base. Yeah, sure, what provide a, disaster. a little bit of DPS, but I mean, nothing actually died there on the base itself. That's literally just a bunch of units getting killed for EOD. How crazy is that? And EOD just basically jumped the whole leader point because of that. He's about to get another one right now. He just did. He has a shield on his third base now. There's a turret coming in. The only thing he's got to worry about now is not letting that Kinsano run ragged. Put an engineer on hold command and heal up your base. Yeah, that would be very nice because next Inferno, this could be a problem though. Could totally see that base getting cleaned up. Also, he's stuck on tier 2. He has four gens, but he can't get off of tier two. Ami is in tier three. Mm -hmm. That's dangerous if he goes into tanks. Or vultures for that matter. But he's actually going to Hornet. For now, for now it's just going to be the dragon tank thing. Mm -hmm. Here super upgraded. And we've got a mix of flame marks. Hey, the grenade launcher is upgraded as well for the flame hogs yep. you still have jack rabbits what <laughs> get out of here <laughs> no way guess they beat the banshees then i'll be holding up to his mini base advantage uh that's five to one But he's still getting upgrades for infantry and vehicles. He's planning to stay in tier 2 for a really long time. Yeah, he's, he needs to get to tech 3. It's the only way he's going to be able to fight this. Because if it gets, starts to get into either vultures or tanks, it's going to be hard for him to deal with. Right now, he's sticking to tech 2 units, though. Flame Hogs. Reinforcements for all me. 
I'm just so surprised Ami's not looking to trade away those damn jackrabbits. It's been a million years. Yep. There are a lot of hogs here now, so... This might be a problem. I'm trying to get anti-vehicle Oh, they're them. going for the hunters. Uh oh <laughs> Front riders end up ramming the Kinsano, stopping the fire flame ball thing. A lot of hogs up top, but there's an anti vehicle turret on the main, along with two other turrets. We're about to kill we'll the main. Take out the main, that's though. about the best. Yeah. Uh, might Runs get beamed in the end. Runs from a row of his back. He doesn't have the population for it, but if he just sits here and just goes after Almy's expo, this is the better of the two expos, the one that's upgraded to seven pads, so. Don't know if he wants to sit here and tank this or not. Does he have Grunt Dome now? I'm trying to kill that Tinsano hero. If the shards oh, throw it. get it! Oh, the heal is in! Oh, the heal is barely oh. gonna live. That was so close. So I guess Eli can just chill in front of this base and uh, take out the turrets one by one or something like that. EOD has a lot of money right now, but he has no power because he still can't get tech too. Yeah, flame rocks are coming home as well. Looks like they blew up the mine on the way out, so some of them are dead. There's Inferno to counter the Grunt Dome. That's an interesting choice. What I don't that like is, is I, I haven't been seeing NG Shield this whole time. What about the drop turret and the flame wall combo? That's melting the army right now. Very nice, I think. Double, please don't shoot me. Beauty. There is that. <laughs> and go tech two now, three and now if he wants. Lost all of his engineers, it looks like. But no more uh, Inferno. So the push is going to be a little bit harder than it was before. There's the NG shield. Very nice for Ami that these flame hawks can actually shoot up a little bit. Kills Kinsano. That's huge. Oh. A lot of red bar units here. Well, here come the drops, Kaboom. Let's see what they can do. Why Not on the army? There's a shield here. He's gonna do it now. Okay, yeah. there it is. The heroes get under. Oh man, they are just, they're just gonna heal each other up? Yep. There are anti at least one anti vehicle turret here. Those tanks are going to be hard to withstand. Shield is still nice half health. Drop. Oh, the goblins are going to be gone. That is very good news for Ami. He's going to drop in here now. Some more reinforcements coming in. The ho Tech 2, the Vet 2 is dead. Only a couple war flame hogs left. That's it. Push is gone. They're just holding strong after all that. The flame hogs can't even touch them. Finally. He has to restart from scratch. EOD does get not only tech one, but an up or tech three and upgraded uh expo. Dobbins. Whoa. Yeah, he has four gens. <laughs> How long has it been, Kaboom, since you've seen thick hide getting used? In a competitive game? <laughs> Yeah. A while. <laughs> <laughs> but they actually slap. <laughs> I know, right? Like, against Kinsano? Against Kinsano, I think yeah. that might be, like, the key matchup to use it in. So I would love to see it. He is here free. He's got the money for it. Yep. In a moment. But I think he's switching to Wraith, which is the correct call. I mean, he does have enough Marauders here, but is it worth the investment just from those those guys he's actually upgrading his other expo for two more pads <laughs> why not mass loaded it's run for some above two now this is how the world works when you're loaded you just get more loaded mm -hmm. he's going for a fifth gen Yep. He has Ultra Hustle now as well. I 
think this is the... I don't know what Almi can do. Almi does not have the bank to be able to do this. He's going Hornets. I don't like that at all. Uh, he's going real hard for this right now. Yeah. It better work, because this is like the only shot he gets at this. I mean, how many Reavers are there here? Three. Not a lot. It's kind of doable, right? But you gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. Those boys get under a shield. It's it's way harder to do anything to them. This is not exactly a base cracker composition. Not as good as Vultures would be. And also with Kinsano's Redline. Like, Redline 2 doesn't make them permanently faster, which is kind of silly. Especially with where Kinsano is in the, in the balance, so... <laughs> Super high risk, mm -hmm. arguably low reward. Yep, yep has heavy grunts. Yep, yep has grunt goblins for healing. I want to point out that if this doesn't work, uh, he's already preparing to switch to tanks. He's getting canister to show up right now. So oh, I think, good, good, good. I think he's just gonna go in for this and just immediately counter with uh, red line tanks. So we'll see. It's gonna be back to back fights. It's gotta work. How many war count? How many foundries does he have? Our garage is one, two, only two. But that's it. But it's a, it's a start. Like you can, as you go out, you can recycle one of the air pads. Twenty hornets we're talking about here, so it's not bad at all. all right. He has no power right now. So. Inferno should hit at the same time. Reinforcements two won't be cancelable now. EOD has it done. Oh, he only has air one. That's why he's not going yet. He's going to upgrade air level two. He has the uh, population, though, obviously. He's trying to just harass with the Kinsano hero. The thing is, when you're fighting with Kinsano, you just want to napalm strike a base that you want to attack, and it'll drop the shield. You don't have to worry about the shield at all. You just hit that, and it's unavoidable. The shield drops. And if you want to... Yeah, just looking at the after. remaining shields here, that was not worth it. Yeah. Right now, he's just being a distraction with this hero. He's going for the other expo. Let's see if he how he decides to play this. I imagine he's actually going to try to inferno it, knowing him. An inferno after he drops the shield this time. EOD's not even looking. EOD's not looking. EOD's not looking. He's focusing on that hero. He will kill it, I think. <laughs> the turret's still shooting. That's yeah. so funny. Okay. <laughs> he traps into the mines. Yeah, yeah, Please don't shoot problem. me. I can come in at some point. Oh, poor Kinsano. Yep. I think it was a good thing he baited that out, actually. Uh, if he would have dropped it shield with a leader power, then he could use it now. So this is interesting because all these hornets can just go across the map now with the teleporter while those four that he left behind can finish this mini base. This is looking pretty good. Both players having similar blue count, about seven grand. Uh, Almi's upgrading vehicle level two now behind this. So to give everybody an update where that's at. Another generator, actually. So he's gonna be. So both players gonna be on five gens. Forty-five base upgrade level two. Almost done for army. Sano trying super hard to keep this army here. But now that EOD knows about the army comp, he's got so many reavers, you can't really take this on anymore. There's the Inferno. Please don't shoot me, he's not here. Where's the army? 
Oh, so he's doing what you said, but he's doing it now. Yeah, it's pretty good timing, especially yeah. while that cloak gen is getting wrecked. Is it though? Oh yeah, my god, die. that's getting out healed. No way. <laughs> yeah, it'll die. That would have been ridiculous. Okay. Well, the other base is now under attack. He needs an Apon Strike. Almirante definitely needs an Apon Strike. He's struggling without it. There's a debuff with beam. Oh my god. Ooh, EOD has an Apon Strike at home. And it's better. That killed a lot of hornets right 87 there. 87 population and no way of seeing the base anymore because the hornet, the uh, nightingale's left. I wish EOD would just attack at some point. Yeah, I'm not sure how many resources he wants. He has all of them right now, so. I <laughs> think he's waiting for like logistics and all that good stuff. Like every upgrade. <laughs> logistics, yeah. <laughs> he's getting logistics three right now, so. And party's over. What's party's over? That's uh, that's EMP. Oh, that's the one after EMP, so the extra grunt. No, no, that's the my plus one. Oh. I forgot the See, uh, oh. Sometimes I remember the names. I don't <laughs> play Yap Yap enough to remember. I'll throw it in some uh, teams here and there, but I don't usually play Yap at once. Yeah, fair enough. Now, EMP and methane is disgusting, so. This, this could come in real useful against the tanks. That's also, I'm not used to the name because I just call it EMP. <laughs> yeah. Wolverine, actually. There's the tank Wolverine. So he's gonna have both. He's gonna have tanks plus air. Yeah, better than just throwing away the Hornets outright. And at least try to do some damage. If it doesn't work, you just go back to the tank Wolverine. It's fine. Taking away that power node is actually not a bad play at all. It's kind of blocking the ability to sneak past. Okay, are those tanks gonna hit the base now? Yudi's moving out too. Might get our first real engagement of the game. Oh, he's not. Go down. <laughs> Never mind. Yo, demon, come on. <laughs> We're gonna be here a while, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh. Yeah, level 3 is up now. I'm around to at base fortification 3. The thing is, the longer this goes on, I think... Insano outscales? It's been a while since I've seen this this late game, so it's really just theory crafting. Yeah, with all the drops, like, you can totally win. Yeah, but the invisibility is also real rough. Plus all this shielding, yikes. Uh, both players are still at full pop, <laughs> despite all this going on. What, did you expect something to die, Kaboom? <laughs> I mean, not at all. Insana's <laughs> gonna die. Yep, there goes Insana. Oh, there it is. A death. A death, yeah, now in the no, 80s. The units. There's the Inferno on the base, but he doesn't have any way of seen the base yet. He has no detect, but will he actually be able to kill the cloak gen with the uh, Inferno? Could drop a, yeah. nothing at all on it, actually. The shield is back. What? How is that happening? I actually don't mind that now, just because I'm... I want to see Almirante with a stronger full tech 3 army. Wow, that's so unlucky. Imagine if that uh, 
Napalm Strike earlier had been on this base. Like you got to combo the both of them. So much here. So if he if he puts three points in the Napalm Strike as well, it's 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 either as strong as an Inferno or it's stronger. It's very they're very close if you put the two of them together. So you essentially have two Infernos. So here's gonna be the combo or the counter. But they're fighting around three upgraded turrets. DoD's quickly losing his whole army. Oh wait, there's gonna be vultures now. Where's the rest going? There, there's they're only one across the map. Yeah, there's only one in uh Reaver here now. Ooh. Okay, the map is interesting. It's actually not hitting the base. Yeah, but enough vultures coming in with the Y ability just putting holes in this army. <laughs> well, the hell drop is still just level one. <laughs> That's so sad. Yeah, right. <laughs> Big Do we actually one. have how charge like level whatever, or was it yeah. just from the big drop? No, he did have the actual active. Okay. There's a drop, but a drop dies in the air. Half <laughs> third of the drop is gone. There's where EOD or um, Almi can make the counter push. Does he have enough vultures? It's it starting to look like something. There's enough nightingales to detect for a while. This Wolverine is to also detect. Uh, there's going to be further drops. Flamehog drop, I think, just went on off cooldown. It's going to be pretty good. Oh, the heal, too. His hand's already back. The logistics upgrades are done, man. That's for sure. Oh. Now with enough... There's a Night Bomb missile. You can track the shield. There, There's what you need to do. That'll instantly crack the shield. Just give it a second. There you go. The shield's gonna fall with this too, so the shield won't re be rebuilding while this is going on. There's shield's actually yeah. good, Ned. Just a cloak to worry about now. The flame mob drop is pretty good as well. Wolverine's circling around this, taking out every single support unit. It actually goes, oh, I don't remember what that is, that leader power is called. Get back out there. There you go. Another one of yeah, I remembered that's... another name. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I see you remembering names or me just forgetting them. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all all balanced now. Yep. I will say that put a pretty big dent in the EOD's econ. He's down he was down to under a thousand yellow and three K blue. Which when he had over ten K means that's that was a pretty big hole. Yeah, for sure. Those little shield turrets are expensive to remake. And there's the fact that Ami has taken over all the mini bases, by the way, so it's really nice for his leader power progression. Kisano sure has a lot of points to pick up. Oh, yeah. Hell Charge 3, um, Red Line 2, Napalm Strike 3. Ami, or EOD's doing a good job going around the map and trying to grab all the nodes at once. Or some of them are going to get stopped. Not all of them. I'm not doing, doing much better econ at the moment. And Farno is back. Okay, this is a Burke army. It's not gonna kill a base. <laughs> yeah, I don't see much base damage here for this army. He does have Hell Charge 3. Ay, ay, ay. Whoa, oh, hello there. That is actually really good here. I didn't even consider that. But Hell Charge on that thing with a Y ability? Be strong. Just has to have enough healing to keep it alive. Let's see if he does. So enough nightingales here now. Napalm missile will be able to crack the shield like we talked about. Goes with Inferno first. I don't like that. That does more base damage. You don't need that for the shield. You gotta get a good Y ability off. There's gonna be a turret drop. Let's kill the cloak gen. 
That's a good start. Yeah, What's the other gonna do? Just target the units. Yep, that's one of the heroes dead. Another one's about to fall. There's the heal. Okay, here comes the heal. It's not actually targeting the condor though. I think it's outside of it. It's going back in now. There's gonna be a beam. Actually, hard to say who's winning this. Yeah, the beam will delete the condor. It's not even level three. <laughs> All right, there's a ultimate drop comes back in. Here's the please don't shoot me. He's trying to get the cloak gen. Actually, a shield gen. He's trying to juggle. He should have Napalm Strike, I think. I don't remember seeing him use it. Uh, I think he did it in the middle of the fight. Oh my god. Yep. That's the old shield bringing it back. You kidding me? I forget the timing, but you don't need that much time. But Almer is pumping across the map right now. There's a hell drop level 2 going to be dropping in there as well. I think his army might be strong enough to crack this now. It's going to be close. Well, those extra hornets are starting to look pretty good with all this other support. There's the hell drop. Doesn't have dispersion nozzles, unfortunately. But big drop with the wa uh, the flame wall. There's a grunt down, but it's away from the base. Actually, two of them. Oh. One. <laughs> That's the reason why I was away from the base. EOD yeah, has no again, money. That's where this could so be. This is doing something. Yes. I don't know if Almi knows that, though. Because Almi hasn't stopped his pump. He's just re, uh, uh -huh. regrouping. Almi can keep going. At least a while longer he can. And here's the tanks. They are gonna do a number to the reavers again. Yeah, but he's fighting into the base with double anti vehicle turrets. He has some pretty good pickups. EOD's just gonna be Ooh, struggling. Mass Hornets again. Yeah, and EOD's struggling to keep up this uh, pop now. He actually did a decent job getting some of the mini bases back though, because EOD has the ones on his side. And he's trying to kill the Omnis, which yeah, I think he did at least a couple of them. I mean, all units into one grunt. <laughs> I think he's, he's getting maybe a little tired. Uh huh. 41 minutes into game number two. Oh, locusts. You're really starting to feel it. Look, you've got your free heroes. They can all give invulnerability to your locusts. You got a double grand dome. Why not? Why not try to YOLO a base? Maybe not when the army is right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, well, hell, that is the plan. Hell charge three <laughs> on the hornets. He's trying to run the hornets over there for the explosions. I mean, it really doesn't do pop. that much. But he did stun all the locusts. Locusts are also very expensive. Oh, yeah. Please don't shoot me. Isn't going to completely save them, I don't think. This base doesn't have a cloak gen anymore, so. Oh, dude. Please don't talk about how to break a colony turtle if you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Oh. So you are not correct. 
We've seen actually EOD and uh, Rock play that matchup. And, well, this is probably gonna go on forever. Ami's losing a lot here again, but he's also killing a lot. Mm -hmm. so Ami's ahead in. EOD. Yeah, Ami's way ahead in population at the moment. It's about 30 ahead. The engineers are pretty much gone now, so no more active healing. About to kill the second goblin. That's two down. Are we actually getting... It's kind of unfortunate for EOD that these hunters are turning away and not fighting the vehicles. That was an opportunity there, but didn't use it. Okay. So now EOD's lost all those resources. Around 3,000 blue. needs to get some nightingales in there. Heal up that army. There they come. I think we'll be here a while. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a scare about but it's crap. That is not gonna work. Oh my god, if he can't crack a base. This base has triple anti vehicle turrets. Yep. His army's close by, he's gonna be able to move this scare him. Oh, he preloaded the the shield. That's not good. You always have to wait for the Y ability to the vultures before you use the shield. Now you can just Y that thing down. He's going to be able to, like, strip most of it. But he's not losing anything. Almirante's not losing much. There's the... Oh! Yeah, Scarab's dead. I guess he dodged away from most of that. That's pretty good. Now he's just running down yep. his army. Oh, EOD made a big mistake here, I think. There's the please don't shoot me, but... Was not ready. Um, he's gonna have to rebuild this base. It's the only downside for this. Rebuild the uh, pads, so you can't just continuously pump out this base. But he should fight into this one here. He should have more than enough to push off. I don't know if he's going to, though. Yeah, Inferno is available now. I think so. Or else, I would say don't do that, but... He has the like the better ability to kite out, so he's gonna kill more units before he gets there. EOD down was down to ninety something population, back up to hundred. I think Kabubi might be looking at the draw. Uh, I was just about to look at the rules to see exactly what we put in there for that. It's I know it's an hour mark, but I don't know what the actual rule is. I'll look it up. Where is it? Where is it? One hour time limit. Casters must either call the winner or gives both sides one point. Obviously, if it ends, the series ends in a tie, we replay. So we're either looking at finding, a, deciding a winner or calling it a draw. Where both players get a point. Yeah, well, nobody's killed a basin ever, yeah. so... It's definitely more of a draw tough. at this point. We have 13, about 12 more minutes before we call that. If a base gets... Basically, where we're down to, everybody, if a base gets cracked, like, fully killed, that person pretty much wins. Whoever does that. But... A base hasn't been killed in 48 minutes, so that's got to happen. 
for anything to change. With big vulture shots into Reavers. They don't do much damage into Reavers, so. Yeah, especially under engineer shields and healing. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Tickle fest. One thing that Tommy could do is just really go full tanks and see what it does. Uh, with some Wolverines, that is. I'm surprised we haven't seen that full tanks. There's just not enough hunters to really deal with it. Yeah, and even if you have a lot of hunters, it does so much damage. Oh my and god, that, is, that did so much. He's gonna be able to walk out of it, but that already dropped him a lot of population right here. At this point... Because he's got the Goblin heals. Yeah. Never mind, they're cool that. At this point, if I was on me, I would just race to another base. Please don't shoot me, he's not there. Almi's winning, but call me a draw. I tend to agree at this point. Every time Ami attacks, he gets held back. Yeah, but EOD is not in a better position. This this fight might be different, though. Yeah. That's a lot of nukes. Nope. But he just raced them off of this base. Can he do anything? He needs Napalm Strike here. He's going to sit in the shield. Or a heal. Oh, Oh, that's a uh, get back out there. I was like, wait, he doesn't have. <laughs> yeah. I'll pitch the way, like the timing of it, made it seem like combat salvage, but not for that. There's the double grunt dome. That's oh very my important. God. Under a beam. Free. It's not free at all. In fact, it's so not free it even disappeared. Yeah. VFX There's overload. A big name oh my strike. God. Starting to get that thing up there. I think yeah, that that's might a level be three. three. Yeah, that's a wide beam. This drop, I think, just changed everything, Kaboom. EOD's dropping in pop, but he's also replacing his units pretty quick. Ami's not reinforcing this two. at all, is my concern. There's nothing on the way. Yeah. Might be able to destroy a few buildings, but he won't get the entire base. He does kill the uh, front goblin coming out in time, though. There's no more it's immediate heals. That sure helps. But the drop reinforces the EOD. He's back to under 20 pop. Oh no, he lost two buildings. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about the same thing that just happened on the other side with the scarab. Yep. But those two Y abilities are gonna kill those. Uh, um. There we go. <laughs> kill the methane wagons. Sauna's actually putting in work in that garrison. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I might you don't see that me. very often, but anyway, she's gonna get taken down here. Mm -hmm. Please don't screw me to his back up. Us. I mean, this army can see the enemy real good. <laughs> Alright, what's next? More vultures. So this is tough. I would love to see the uh, vulture play again from Omni. Not vulture, uh, Condor. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> no wonder we weren't seeing oh, anything pump for a while. Yeah, Condor's 13 speeds out. Uh, if he plays a little bit better with the kiting game and keeps it towards the back, mm -hmm. I think he can keep this up because if you kill the, put the tanks up front, just destroying the anti-air, I think the Condor will be able to just slowly kill everything. Yeah, you can sure do that. I think he just ran his... Um, oh, he's actually going Cyclops now. Cyclops underneath the... What? It's kind of out of nowhere, but I'm here for it. Yeah. Actually, sort of like... Actually, there's a Kodiak. I think that was a mistake. <laughs> There's only one. He could donate it real quick. Yeah, he's just gonna put it back. Yeah, he's setting it up. Yeah, we need the Kinsano one to shoot fire. Bullets that would be so things. cool. There's no reason for it not to be that way. I think there was a mod that had that, though. Yeah, for sure. Uh, 
Okay, here it comes. Nice little flame wall. He already killed quite a few oh, uh, Reavers, though. There's like... Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's a couple more coming back, but he's already killed like four or five Reavers, and these are anti-vehicle turrets. The only other vehicle there is the methane wagon. The Pondus going to be working from range. Unfortunately, it can't hit anything that moves, so that sucks. Yep. Just to get back out there. <laughs> the cannons, but no less. Yep, he already killed all but one Reaver. Nope, all Reavers are dead. This Condor is built. Oh, there's the beam. Yes, he has Oh, yeah, 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 that's painful. Yep. Oh, he hasn't lost anything, though. He's still at 119. Yeah, he's training more stuff behind it. So, like, nothing else coming out and stuff. It's not a lot of damage dealers here. Oh, a big Y ability flame wall. This might actually do something now. <laughs> what a battle. People are just... Staying near 120 pop the whole time. <laughs> what the, yeah, I've never heard him say that. It's like, do I look like a scarab? Pick up someone on your own size. That's the, because he's getting hit by a condor. <laughs> Dude, this army's gonna fall. There's a nice drop turret. Just gotta be careful not to lose that thing. I don't know why. I, I really don't need to be fighting up here. So I don't know, Kaboom. This game destroyed something. A part of me. <laughs> it's no longer a part of me. <laughs> uh, yeah. What is happening here? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Something happened on the right side. Yo, he took over the mini bases. He's gonna have resources now, which means he can keep going even longer. <laughs> Just what we needed. Uh, Yo, D. I mean, if Almi pushed up there, if he was able to heal that condor, I think he got to push to win and only at least to take that base. I only say that because Yo, was out of money for a little bit. He's recouped a little bit of now. He's back to fifteen hundred, but there was a time he was completely out of money for a short amount of time and not full pop. He's pushing into a triple anti-vehicle turret base, and it's just getting murdered. Condor's at half health at the moment. Big flame wall just to push him back. I won't kill anything, but at least forces out the, uh... Uh, Y abilities. Yeah, pretty unfortunate it doesn't kill anything at all, so... There's no progress being made, I'm afraid. Big inferno there. Pain. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, the choke point. I don't like that, though. Well, they're trapped now. They can't get out of here. Yeah, they have to go forward, I guess. Here, come, here comes the drop war. Oh my goodness, this grunt domes. You know what? Ami is in trouble for the first time in a while. He might lose a base. Oh, see, there's oh, a lot at of heals the 56 here. minute mark. There's a lot of nighting, yes, yes. Is that gonna be enough? Oh, oh two star boys, my they're punching God. real hard. EOD might have just done it. I hate to say that he did it, but look at his econ. How do we actually call that in EOD's favor? <laughs> we might just go across the map and kill him now. <laughs> they don't know if he's gonna be able to reinforce this, though. Maybe. Oh, he's trying to get this back now. Insano is dead. Okay, Kaboom. I think this is the moment. Here comes Beam Free to that counter the bad. drop. Oh my god, EOD. At the buzzer. Got enough income to keep going. Operation Uppercut has commenced. 
Yeah, those are those warthog drops ain't gonna do anything here. Almirante sitting at 58 population. <laughs> oh, the desperation at 58 minutes with our one hour time limit. Oh my god, EOD. He's done this on purpose, I swear. <laughs> In 90 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, you can just keep going on now. There's nothing here for Army to stop him. He's, he's able to repop. He doesn't have a ton of money, but now he's full pop. He's back up to 1,200, 13, 1,400 blue. His income's very strong. Yeah, that's all about that. those mini bases that he took over. Like, having all those extra resources coming in is definitely meaningful. There's no leader powers now, which Ami can use to drive him away. Get back out there is even on. Now he can heal himself with the gobbles. I mean, the tanks from Ami are very nice. Don't get me wrong, they're, they're strong and they'll clean this up. But can Ami actually make an attack happen? Please don't shoot me. Oh, the mines, the mines, the mines. Ooh, nice. You would be getting a base lead. Oh, Ami better know that this is a rule situation. <laughs> yeah. He'd have to fight for quite a while to hold up to eventually get that expo back. Oh, double grunt dome. Oh my goodness, double grunt dome. Again. Wait, the tanks are just deleting this. Never mind. By the way, you don't want to you don't want to stack grunt dome over grunt dome like that because they'll both take the same damage. That was they just. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, they kind of stack the shield, but I guess you could just do it like that, in that sense. But ideally, you don't put them one over top of each other. Plus, you get two stuns out of it, so it's good to stack her. Exactly. By the way, Almirante's econ is falling fast, too. Not at full pop, 1300 blue. It really looks to me like EOD can break this base, Kaboom. Of course, Drop Wars will begin again. So because somebody's winning, we can go past the time limit, technically. Well, if we ever get to a stalemate again... You know. It's really looking like Ami's making a comeback. Yeah. So I don't think we need to invoke the rule. Keeps your call. We're right at that point. It's it's basically still undecided because let's see how this push goes yeah. for Omni. Like if, yeah, like it, it would have been you know, if EOD keeps going, it's so obvious, right? That we can give him the win. But with Army doing this counter push, these tanks are really looking like they're up to something. Yeah. The base of shields are gone. Look at him, he's blowing up buildings. He's so close. Hunters are getting deleted left and right. EOD does not have resources again. It's those tanks, man. Oh, fire across the base. Can I Kill uh, a lot to of keep pads. The from coming back. Yep. Killing a lot of pads, also nuking the turret in the front. Okay, Ami is getting a little low pop, but yeah, just the pad kills are gonna be huge. Wow! Two DLD is gonna go broke like this. Shield comes back eventually. What is going on? <laughs> if they're stabilizing here, though, like we got it. Yeah, it, it calls the draw. draw. I mean, they each get a point. They're not going to complain too much. Yeah, you would think. Yep. Both players literally have 500 blue. Yeah, guys, the only reason we're waiting right now is because it's too close to make a call and anybody could topple over any second. 
if it was a real staymate with 10k resources, I would have messaged them already. Yeah, a single fight can really change the whole dynamic of this game. ED did crack a base, but he doesn't have enough econ to be like, oh yeah, he could just pump for days. Yes, if he eats a load of canisters, then uh, <laughs> his entire army will evaporate. So you really gotta see what happens here. Oh, it, the Kinsano's a distraction. Ami knows. The hunters are slow. This is his time to strike. Yep. This is not seen on vision by UOD either. He will have... Please don't shoot me. I suppose... I imagine, but... Oh, he's using up all the cannons to break the shield. Yep. There is no cloak gen here fine. either, the by the way. Far. Oh yeah, true. It wouldn't be the worst idea actually to take down the shield gens, but I think with the tanks all being in position right now, might as well just hit the, shield, hit the base directly. Uh, it's gonna take too long for the hunters to come back. Napalm missiles is in. What's Ami waiting for? He wants to bait out. Does he want to take the me. fight? I think that's what he's afraid of. He'll just use a blow, lack of a better term, blow his load, and then not be able to do anything with it. Oh. But he basically did a good chunk of damage, and he's just gonna back up. I, I think he wants to bait it out, but he wasn't able to. Yodi host strong. I guess he can take the minis back, but if EOD gets that extra base on the other side, then EOD is putting himself in the winning position, really. Yeah, if he gets this one to full. We'll wait to see if he's able to upgrade it to tier 3, and I think that pretty much calls it with the shield and everything. Yeah, yeah. So now EOD could just sit here with his hunters and just defend this expo. I mean, with the indecision, but actually maybe not. I think he's heading for the teleporter to take out the other base. Then he can come back again. It's all about what EOD is going to do about it. This is the deciding one, I, I would say. Just if he kills this expo, then we continue. If he doesn't... I don't see how he can, to be honest. Or how he's going to be able to not kill it. There's only one hunter here in defense. You can please don't shoot me, though. Yeah. He could, but it's still going to take too long. It's the debuff plus the beam. Oh, my God. Oh. Going to be able to kill a lot of tanks here. Yep, that hurts. Amirante's gonna... It's still going to be enough to take the base down, I think. Yeah, but please don't shoot me. No. in, and all the hunters are right here. This base is going to survive. I think that's where we... I don't... Okay, the play for Ami now is to go for the next one, because the hunters will have to turn around. They're not ready to do so right away. Wait, where is Ami going? He's going to get stunned by these... The methane trucks will stun all the tanks. Oh my they did, god. Oh my god, that was glorious there from EOD. <laughs> Somehow Almirante got his econ back. He hasn't lost units in a long time. Yeah, yeah. He's basically running around the map at the moment. Okay, Ami really has to try to trade away these units for the base lane. Yeah, there's the stun there. And another! Inferno on the Oh army. my god, is EOD gonna clean up? <gasps> oh, the hunters are extra mega low! The Grunt Dome is almost dropped. I think the hunters are going to melt away. Let's have get back out there. So they're coming back from his main pretty quickly. 
Oh. So I see. But there's like nothing here for EOD, man. It's gonna lose the base. The drop. Ain't got nothing. So a handful of nightingales to spot and to heal. And Ami is once again running. No, never mind. He's forming a better concave. He's collapsing on this again. Oh, Jen's down. EOG is out of money. Oh, this might be it, guys. Kinsano is doing the flame wall. And that one was pretty effective, it looks like. Just a handful of buildings left at this point. Should be able to take them down, honestly. There's really nothing in the oh. way. The shield is back. Are you joking me? He's got to hold here. EOD's going to be in trouble. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> More flame hogs. Please don't shoot me. It's going to come back. The freaking shield's going to come back. You are kidding me. I actually don't think the shield will be able to come back quite yet. I would be surprised to see it jump back up during this time. It could, though. We've been hitting the army for a little bit. I'm not 100% sure, but I think Ami was hitting the army for a while. And he needs to immediately hit the base now. Yep, there. Okay, there might be okay. That was cutting it close, though. Ooh, all the goblins are dead! Oh, he noticed the mines though. Those are gonna hurt. Oof! A lot of hunters here again. Oh, his push is thwarted. I imagine if that Kinsano actually hits the base. These buildings are so very low right now. He can still do it, but the glassing beam is back. Actually, I wouldn't use it here. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's got nothing left here. This unit's coming across yeah. the map, but he's got the Kinsano here and that's it. These vehicles are just getting murdered by the hunters. Now he has goblins back oh. in. Another Remax from Ami, and that's really all he needs. He's barely got anything on the other side to do damage with. Like, is EOD just gonna roll up again and turn it around again? Immortal leaders. I love how smart, or Rednecks like, okay, Ami wins. Like, this is why we're continuing to go, guys. It's, it's literally on a knife's edge. It's so hard. You can't to call. decide. We can't decide. Even the players don't know. Mm -hmm. That's why they're continuing to. Yeah. Ami doesn't have the pop right now, but he is getting it back up pretty quickly. Can he defend and kill this expo? I guess we'll see. Well, at least he can kill the buildings on it not the whole thing or you could just do this just run around and hit one base after the other he's got some units back on the uh, the other expo but going Kodiaks hey. on there oh my god uh, kaboom he destroyed all the shields he's going for the shield unshielded base right now yep. and the Kodiak will help a lot to keep those uh, new turrets down this could be the moment for Ami again oh yeah he's had many moments Shade turret drops but back This up. looks like the best one. Because yeah, he's still sitting on so little blue. EOD is. Yeah, there's 800. Can't even max out. Here's, please don't shoot me again. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cheap. Trying to build a shield on that base, but oh, actually, sensory tower. Never mind. Does Almy have enough here to defend these Kodiaks? My question. He has the Kodiak in the oh, he needs to drop it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Multiple Kodiaks that aren't on the ground is not good. Ooh, the mines are disgusting here. Oh, the little army's dead. My screen is shaking, Kaboom. I don't even know what's happening. EOD is 100 pop. Ami is 73. 
This doesn't if he holds on to that fourth base any longer, I think he'll recover just fine. Yeah, well, I was going to say, I don't know if this is that big a deal, because he already is please don't shoot me, and Almirante is already targeting the other base. The shield is down, he infernoed it. That fourth base of EODs is falling fast. There's nothing to defend it at the moment. Aiming for the cloak gen at the, as well with a Vet 2 Hellbringer. There's just one unit here. Another Hellbringer goes in. Cloak Chan is down. There's a beam. On this on the, little on the cute deep army. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> he does an ultimate drop on the other base where the shield gen's going up. He picks it off as he's about to go up. Whoa. There's action this is exactly everywhere. What needs to happen. He needs one of these. coming in, speed, so that's rough. I don't think he'll be able to survive much longer, but he is down to under a thousand blue himself. He did just use an ultimate drop, so it's not that big a deal. He used a napalm strike on the other base. <laughs> it's getting stripped, Kaboom. Uh, I know. All the pads are gone, minus one. So he can't defend this easily. He does have a goblin coming in. Get back out there, back active. <laughs> Almirante's going both directions, try can't decide where he wants his units. He's trying to keep him down on this expo. Unfortunately for Ami, there's an engineer here and it can heal. <laughs> yep. You're very good. Almirante's doing a good job staying in this by grabbing all the minis, so that's why he has enough power or supply to keep this going, but he's for down sure. to 58 population. So please don't shoot oh, me here. There's nothing actually go building on this expo, so it's not like... Yeah, this four base situation has gone on for a little bit too long. I'm not sure Ami can bring it back anymore. Yeah. Especially with all his powers gone just now. Shield is up on this expo. Can he hold this? That's a desperation attack. I think Ami's yeah. done. I think it's done. Oh, he's really trying to get this, but he's even moving out of the heal. Like, I don't know, dude. Okay, he'll get the shield gen. That's a not bad start. Kisano's here. Wait a second. There's a lot more drops where those came from. Dropped her on two, oh though. My. Or three, actually. Ami has no money yet left. Well, EOD is pretty low as well. But yeah, Ami's in a worse spot right now. Once these units move up, I don't think that's enough time to take down the base. Trying to get the goblins back in there. It's going to be close. There's goblin. All four goblins. Or three goblins are going to be here in a second. It's also race here. Napalm. Yeah, this is just a better composition. Oh, this has had to pull back. Almost oh, desperately trying to get this base and decides to back away, at least with his hornets. They're leaving the hogs to die, I'm not sure about that. That's costly right now. But maybe he's looking for a big drop. It should be back soon. And there goes the shield gen coming back up on this base. Why is Almay knock on Hornets and ran EOD all over the map? He, well, that he tried that about 45 minutes ago. <laughs> well, he's back to it now. Yeah, there's a but beam. It's not as beam easy as it sounds. These players are extremely good at defending and attacking, so... Just because you have flyers doesn't mean you're gonna necessarily beat the other guy. In fact, last time uh, it really went somewhere, EOD just came over to destroy Ami's base and took it over, so 
I don't know. Now that it's fully upgraded, Ami hasn't been able to touch it. I think we're starting to get to a point where EOD just auto wins. <sighs> Still using the teleport just really nicely. Yeah. I want to see what he does here, because EOD is not in a position to defend at the moment. Yeah, no. Not at all. There's no please don't shoot me this time. If Ami wastes time on sensor towers, then... This is a hold again. A costly hold, but one nonetheless. Just gonna get the shield gem this time. Nice split of the grunt dome. Once again, it's a hold. Army immediately shooting for the other base, trying to attack that too. We'll need a bunch of tanks again, I think. But to max out on that composition is very costly, so I'm not sure he can afford it, really. Yep, her defends his base again. He's trying to do once more counter push on the other side. He's just running. He, this time he is actually running UD around the map. Yodi just having to run between these two bases is not really yeah, ideal for up. him. Oh, cloak gen, actually. I thought it was a shield at first glance. Is there any night? Why is Ami running away? There's only one Nightingale. If that Nightingale dies, he has another cloak detect. Oh. And now there's a second one, but yeah, you're right. He could have lived. Some supply pads still running unupgraded for Ami. Oh, only just the one actually, it's fine. It good. Probably no upgrades left for either player. At this point you just wanna get, get them all. That's cool, yes. uh, Might be a worthy consideration to recycle one of your gens at this point when you have this much power as well. Not for you, the Ami, more like. Well, Ami only has. Ami isn't gonna go for counter comp anymore. Well, Ami only has one gen. Oh really? Just the back mini? Just the back mini, yeah. Huh? He sacked that a while ago. So he's been. He has the nodes, and that's it. You can see. Just look at his uh, power income. It's very slow. Yep. I'm really started to get in that territory where I'm gonna say Ami can't touch EOD anymore. Pretty much there with you. I'm just curious what EOD is, or Ami's trying to do this time, but I'm pretty sure EOD can sit here and stalemate this out as long as he wants now. The only thing that worries me is the fact there's no shield on that expo that Ami's going for now. Gonna pick up a goblin here. No, it's not a shield at base. Stop running on me while you're running. <laughs> it's double anti air turrets on this main. With the beam oh, three. Man. oh running right God. into the beam level three this is gonna be disgusting Ami's not looking oh yeah, goodbye it's, air yeah, units it's, all right it's over <laughs> it's oh i don't th oh. uh it's over because now eod will be able to get up all turrets and just fortify forever he didn't even need to use anything besides beam he, he's all uniting over to the other side of the map as well yeah, he doesn't actually have a lot of base breaking units again But he's gonna have a drop right as he loses some, so. There's still that. See how this goes. He's all uniting over, like you said. Almirante only has 89 pop at the moment, so we'll see. Yeah, he's gonna be rapidly dropping units as well as they pop out. Any flyers, instantly dead. 
He can refill though with drops. Sano Hero is dead. That's the Grunt Dome. Okay, the Grunt Dome is made in a real timely fashion. Ami's gonna lose the base, guys. I think this might be an EOD win. Oh. He's my game. There's Bro, so much fire <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> fire, methane. Shouldn't oh, those wow. two react a little bit? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he is losing Hornet's coming over to clean up the burned up units. It's actually gonna work. Unbelievable. Never mind. Fires on the ground is gone. Yudi is pumping back his units in as much fast as he can. I'm ah, this is gonna heal though. Yeah, he needs to please don't shoot me for sure. He's trying to remax, but now he's the one without resources. What is going on in this game? I know. <laughs> I mean, we, we could. I was so ready to call it for EOD, but I then know. army comes in and destroys the entire army easily. I mean, he's splitting off, going to the opposite side. This is not defended at all. Cody X defending at home. Oh, that's actually such a good idea. You can you can siege the cloaked base at the bottom there. Yes, While the army is coming home, what? As long as he has vision. For what it. are we doing? Okay, okay, okay. I see. I see. He's gonna use the Kodiak support, and then he can siege the base while fighting. I mean, we could just <laughs> save us all some time and just call it a draw if we think all around it. We could. Chance. I mean, it's not like it's the end of the series, but. I think they're gonna argue hard though. This is very competitive. Uh, well, EOD would be the one arguing hard. I think Almiron. Yeah, because he's got four bases. Bit, yeah. But then Ami has the minis. It's almost the same amount of buildings. But well, he is pushing hard on this base. Got some biddies in the Go chat. down. Oh, the EOD suicide attack. Interesting. They're both suicide now into the base. Well, I mean, if they both suicide, Almi loses. He's on one base yeah. at that point. Yeah, his base is starting to look real bad, man. And he's coming home with his whole army. There's so some roots down there. That other base. Oh, he's getting so low. Glassing beam is ready to go. I would say glass that thing. Glass that with the, uh, yep. Oh. oh, it's coming in. The glassing beam is going to be hammer at his demise, quite likely here. Oh, uh, I don't know. It doesn't do quite enough base damage. There's some heal. Ooh, holy oh, shit! Yeah, there's the heal. Holy oh, my shit! God. Oh, my it's God. still on. What is happening? <laughs> what the heck is happening, man? If that happened, the game's over. I for sure thought that was it. EOD has to be so triggered right now. This is unbelievable. Ami holding on. Neither player really able to destroy anything. But right now, EOD really not here with most of his army. He's going to have to use a please don't shoot me if he has one. I was not paying attention, honestly, to that cooldown. But we've got napalm missiles coming down. Wow, what a fight that was. Uh, we got front domes coming in. Napalm, by the way, that wasn't the play. Shiojen should get taken down. Ami, please. That other race is fully health. Full health again. <laughs> and e look at look at Almirante's uh Um look at Almirante's econ now. Comparatively, there's no way we don't allow it. either. We call it a draw. We can't give it to Yodi anymore. His econ's in the toilet. Even Jen. Actually, if we Look. let this go. Almi wins. The power is now. He's running out of power. That's the thing. Everyone, every time somebody is attacking. Uh, we keep changing our minds about his winning. I know. It's so funny. I'm sure that's why the players aren't complaining either. They know very well that we've got the one hour limit on 
on the stalemates, but it's too easy to win or lose in this situation. They're just yeah. both so good at the game that they can maintain stability. I think that should be a partial base trip at least. Yeah. That's a really good amount of Reavers left still, though. Looks like Ami is getting pushed back for now. <laughs> You're maintaining his 120 population. Oh my god. I am worried EOD's running out of power now. It's not just blue anymore. It's power, and it's close. It's down to 2k when it's yep. up at 10k a little while ago. And the reason Yeah, the Cody Axe Man on the higher ground. Yeah. Those, They're gonna hurt this base a lot. There's more vultures coming in now too. This will actually crack bases. Unfortunately for the Kodiaks, they're aiming at like heroes and whatever. Yep. They're not getting the targeting done. The only reason this game is even continuing is just because EOD's econ is not good. Otherwise, it would be a stalemate for sure. Oh, that was a great split. Still gonna get free vultures. That's fairly cost effective. Uh, but then there's this. That army's gone. Oh, EOD is at 70 pop and below. He just lost everything during that beam. He just dropped in his units and they are sitting in Kodiak range with only one hero that's about to die. His arm is... Yeah, this, this isn't good. You know what? It's time. It's time for those vultures to show what they're made of. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the Kodiaks will support. For the first time in a while, EOD is in serious trouble. Wait, there's no detect? Uh, Come on. Uh, Come on, uh, no oh, way! The cloak ten is red bar. If you can crack the shield and just kill the cloak ten. <laughs> uh, not kidding, there's a there's night guild though. Alright, alright. I mean, EOD is trying hard to defend, but this base is... Please don't shoot me. Uh, yeah, EOD's down to 300 power. I think I talked about the power is <gasps> gone. Power Whoa. is gone. He's gotta get back some gents. Get rid of some raid camps or something. Anything. Wait, he's, he's working on the gents. Yep, he's got four gen at home. Coming up. He still has three nodes, too. But he and he's working on the mini bases in the background. This could be a turnaround point again. Ami's once again backed off. Even though he's got a million resources. Base is back to good health. So, as soon as this power stabilizes, all EOD needs to do is just chill for two minutes. That's it. Maybe he can even attack with what he's got. A lot of heavy grunts, but the vulture counter attack. Oh, that's a base crack. Yeah, right no, there. please don't shoot me anymore. That's enough. There's the inferno to drop the shield. It will also heavily damage the base by itself. Here it comes. There's no guarding against this. Grunt dome is out of range, I'm afraid. There goes base. EOD lost the base. Holy. Got critical mass, boys. Now, I would love to see him hightail it to the teleport, teleport across, napalm strike the other base and kill that one too. If he does oh, that, yeah. this game is completely over. And it looks like that's exactly what he's doing. 
Going a little slow though. Nice turret drop. Oh, I don't like the napalm strike Ooh, there. Ooh, that napalm is very nice there. If he decides, I mean, he did do a lot because there's no goblins around. That's why that worked. Look at these reavers trying to jump in. <laughs> Three for one, that's not great. He actually is going to take the army on to go back towards it. He's not going to take the jump, teleporter jump. That's got to be an all units. Can't say I love it. Yep. Um, but I guess it's fine to just take the one on your own side. There's really no army to defend it. Uh, EOD trying to get this base back again. Kinsano has distracted for a while. Where are these vultures going? Uh, up to his base and back to the other one, I assume. Ah, because from the top it's like easier to get into position. You don't get seen. Makes you can sense. probably more easily uh, use things to keep that expo from getting taken. Doesn't quite have vision on it, but it's close. He has a guy, in, a marine in the garrison. By the way, Ami's working on the minis again. Yep. It's pretty good stuff. Okay, vultures have arrived at home. On to the next base. There's no defenders. EOD is in serious trouble. Yep. He's regained his resources, but he doesn't have bases. If Ami gets his first third base again and then has these vultures to run around with, I, oh my. I assume please don't shoot me is here, but the Y abilities are... I guess they don't get off. They weren't in the air yet. But yep. how long does this actually protect him? Because there's only one Reaver in range. Well, it's still Kodiak, so he can break the shields. It's almost broken already, actually. It's a lot of Reavers, though. And there's the two Hornets back on that Expo trying to kill it. But the Expo's already built and almost upgraded, too. I don't know why Almi didn't just jump through the other teleport and just nuke the other base. Now he's giving EOD time. That's it. I don't know. Why is he doing this? I don't know. This is baffling. Trying to loop around. Oh, he's waiting for the army to leave. Trying to bait something with that Kinsano hero. That makes sense. He does... And the Vortok drops. Yep. That's a little bit of DPS here. Okay, that... You know what? I won't complain. This is actually smart. He has no way of killing that Kinsano hero anymore. Firestorm battle group here, too. If he decides to use it. He doesn't have a pop right now. There's the Y ability. Withheld. Firestorm. Uh, oh my god. There's an NG shield in the might front. actually get this. The NG shield is very strong here. Oh, the Firestorm battle group. Okay, this base is a goner. Beam free is coming in though. Detect. EOD holding strong for now. No detect. Oh my god, are you the kidding detect. me? The cloak chain's about to fall though. Oh, the fire is killing it. Oh, does Ami notice, though? I don't think he does. This base is almost dead. Holy moly. He's not going to go in. He's nuking random things. Oh. He has vision now, though. Oh, the Kodiaks are shooting. What was that? What's he, what's he, what's he seeing with? The turret? Drop turret. Oh my god, it's the turret. But it doesn't hit the main base. The main base is half healed up from the goblins. What? <laughs> that I love how we had an hour time limit, but because there's so hard to choose a winner, we either have to make it a draw or uh, there's no way Omi accepts the draw now. We, no, we can't make a fair decision yeah. here. Like this, this has to play out. And there goes the other base. He's just gonna run across. No. Well, oh, please shoot me his back, though. <laughs> Going for the other base again. There's an Inferno on it. Oh, Vulture just about gets the nuke off. Shield's coming up. It'll kill the Cloak Gen. It's a Cloak Gen. Oh, that's a Cloak. Sorry. Yeah, that'll die because of the Inferno. <laughs> oh, he gets the NG shield. No on way. Oh, my. Jesus. <laughs> what is happening in this series? I can't 
can't even tell you, man. Why aren't they talking about the draw, by the way? <laughs> you know what? After this nuke series, I'm going to type into the Discord for them. Or actually, Xbox. The nukes aren't gonna kill it. Not even close. The one engineer heal, dude. Too strong. It would be very nice if these tier four bases or whatever they are were a little bit weaker. <laughs> so that the healing wouldn't be so bonkers. Okay. I will type to them to discuss a draw. <laughs> to discuss, we haven't made a decision for them. I'm gonna be messaging EOD as well now. Yeah, and EOD's now got his bank back. Yep. Yeah, Ami has the minis, EOD has the bases, both have the resources, both can hurt each other but not destroy each other. They gotta discuss. Have they said anything in chat while I was typing? Now working on the minis. I mean, it stood still. He's not moving. What's going on? Is he typing on Discord or something stupid? Not in Discord at the moment. I don't see him typing. We're definitely at a draw now, anyway. It's just, or a stalemate, just because EOD's got his power. He can't back type. What, why can't Ami type in the game? He's playing on an Xbox now? Uh, I don't know, I suppose. I think we're gonna ask for the draw. Because they're not trying to attack. I mean, we could just make the decision for them at this point. Because now there's been long enough stalemate. Both players have an econ. Yeah, EOD hasn't responded at all. So we're just going to call it to draw. Uh, both players get one point. It's as if uh, games two and three were played, basically. Which... Obviously, in the sake of time, the reason why that happens as well. So the score is now 2-1 in favor of EOD, basically. color after that whatever that was let's go into marathon EOD Spartan Seb is gonna be playing Colony and over here on the red side we have Almirante with Yap himself this time yeah trying to pick up a little bit of all of the resources I really like that mine by the way on the enemy's close power that's typically speaking a good move I think He's not even grabbing it himself. He just ran away from it. Alright. <laughs> he can come back, I guess. Let's see if Ami steals that mini. Uh, actually might, but EOD faster on the trigger. Very nice. Now it's gonna be a race to the top again. 
but also looks like EOD should be just fine. Depends on how he handles the mini bases, though. Oh, he's fine. Yeah, he's gonna get them all. Yep. Now Ami is in that awkward situation where, oh my god, hmm. that's a gener second generator fourth. Yeah, when he when you save up that kind of blue, you can do that. Because he was trying to grab two minis and he didn't grab either one, so he's just like, all right. Yep. Yep. Now we're gonna have the minis after that, but I think we're in a position where EOD is gonna steal one against Yap Yap. That's ridiculous. It's the danger of going for <laughs> all the minis and failing. Yeah, now Ami has to get the raid camp. There's no other way. He gets the top mini at least. Oof. Uh, just, just to clarify to the guys in the chat, like, Ami getting the draw there is not specifically helpful for him. EOD is up 2-1. to one. EOD winning two more games wins him the finals. And this is a pretty good matchup for Colony as well. Yep. Definitely enjoy this matchup as Colony. I typically find if you don't get wrecked by by Grunt Riders, you're in for a relatively good time here. Yep has some ways to win for sure. Don't get us wrong. So we'll see how this plays out. Almi or EOD with the early mini steal, putting him in a good position though. Being ahead here. Oh, I've been sitting for long, it hurts. Uh, I'm, just, I'm posted up like almost 10 hours. All right, so this base should be retaken by Ami, no problem, but we've got a Goliath. Oh, never mind, there's a Methane Wagon. It's all good. Yeah, that all This is all gonna right. be a defense, especially with the heavy ground's help. I'd like to see EOD kind of well i guess he's not committing this too hard he doesn't double jump back at his mains and just check so it's just a pretty much a stall tactic he's gonna get another goliath out you gotta be careful this thing's cost 80 power that does that put a dent in your power after a few of them early expo there from Ami though but that gets scouted out immediately and two goliaths are on it as well it's gonna have to get sold yep Got all the money back, but a, a, another counter uh, oh. <laughs> expo, and then the expo on the other side for Almarante. So both players trying to grab an expo, both on the same side of the map now. I mean, he does get. I kind of like to see a, a hunter capitano. Yeah, if he wants to save that expo, it's almost guaranteed he will if he has a hunter captain on it. But there's no armory yet. Trying to be the first one to grab a node is EOD. He has one going for two. I'll make click tech two, so he's gonna be the first one to tech. 30 seconds out. Yep, just yep, yep, thanks. Totally normal. And we're gonna see probably just a double war cancel. Hey, look at that. He sold his base because of the Goliath drop. So those could go into the back and wreck up these mini bases a little bit. Choppers are already queued to try to hold them. There's a skid on that choppers or that Goliath, so it'll do some damage. A lot walking up to EOD's base, but there is a turret here against cannon fodder. Some of the fronts. I also really like that chopper in the back, just chilling. I was just about to really point that out. <laughs> <laughs> He's moving the Goliaths away. He could have probably nuked that base. Probably gonna go try to deny the expo again. That's exactly what's going on here. Yeah, probably the higher value play. Uh, but the choppers are coming in to help. And yeah, they have two cannon. More units will be needed here. A uh, couple grunt riders oh, and methane on EOD's expo. There's gonna be a suicide grunt here. 
if it ever connects. Gotta look at it. Oh my god, the suicide grunt's sitting right next to the grunt riders. There we go. Red bars them. Not much base damage after those. There's another one coming in. Uh, okay, let's go in Apex, which is good. I thought that was something else. He's gonna be stuck on yeah, one for quite a while. Keep this alive, just fine. Yeah, for sure. It was red bar, but NG Swarm guarantees it. That all is really expensive stuff, though. Yeah, because he's still talking like on tech one. Stuck yeah. on tier one. Army saves his base, by the way. The Goliaths didn't seem to do much of anything. So I guess this pressure will continue. This is a tough part for Colony where. Okay, there's a little bit of base damage. There's a whole lot of nonsense coming your way. Yeah, I mean, if you had that, what it takes to hold it. it looks it's like not a no. problem if you go hero, but he didn't go hero, as we know. Yeah. Yeah, like six, seven choppers. That's easy, easy pickings for the for the hunter captain. But that's not what we're looking at. There's much more than this. Earth is doing in a lot of work here. Already killed three choppers. Now I'll make it four. That thing wagons. Now, if he only does hold both the bases, he's he's in a prime position to to get out into the good side of tier two. But there's a big drop. I, mean, I don't oh. think there's a beam here. UD can use it if he wants. He does have a hunter's brand. He has the point. There it is. Great hunter brand. That was amazing, but also Ami can heal back up. He already used them. Uh, they're both on cooldown oh, at the did. moment. Yeah. That's... You're right. So turret just finished. Another one just got upgraded. So that uh, methane wagon is about to fall. There is a hunter captain in that war council, but it is 20 something seconds yeah, out. Yeah, it's getting, getting prioritized, but that's buying time for an engineer to pop. It goes to the right. Oh, wait a second. The engineers tried to buy it some time. 15, 14 seconds on this thing. Oh, it's gonna go down, man. Not without an NG Swarm. But the turrets, the turrets are the ones that are holding. And there's a suicide grunt for the rest. Yep, that should kill everything besides the heroes. <laughs> there's a <no> ranger here now. <laughs> he yelled. <laughs> See you two time. Yep, he does have enough econ to do that. He has turrets on his main. It's got turrets everywhere. That's all you need. Hey, the Goliaths on the minis. That's nice. Able to get one pick off there. The chopper just keep, got queued in. Why? Uh, to deal with the other chopper, I guess. But it's red bar. It's completely useless. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he could have used that in the back. He, he <laughs> for that. You could have just swung that in with a... Uh, I mean, Almi has no turrets on his main. If you put a dev host there later, oof. But that was uh, yeah, agreed. Definitely that not be nice. smart by UD to move that chopper away that could have been used later. Bad UD, bad. He is getting some no control now. So right now it's one to one. It's about to be two to one in UD's favor. Hunter Captain is re being rebuilt this time. Hopefully. Oh, hello there. <laughs> we got combat repair. For a generator as well. Heroes getting pumped out. And once that siphon overcharge is done for the Hunter Capitano, it will be able to hold a lot better, just healing himself through all of this trouble. No doubt we'll see skits on it and on much of the other stuff too. Okay, Yap is not done. Like, this is only getting better for now. As you said, you need that siphon overcharge gets. for the hero for it to be worthwhile. Oh look, he's preparing the shield. The other base is kind of wide open, but like not super wide open. So in the end, army still does not want to push. Makes sense to not.
As for the counterattack, we've got yet another colony drop. So it'll be another dead mini base. So far, Ami has been defending pretty admirably. He's gonna get his own shield. Shields on all the bases for Yodi now. Oh my. You know what's next? He's building up his resources, Kaboom. Yep. We're getting to the good part. Ami is not prepared for this. He's a little C. He doesn't have the population for it. He needs 31 for Dev Host. Yeah, you could throw away the grunts, though. True, and in the meantime, he's actually killing all the minis on Yodi's side. He already killed two. Yeah, a good, good, good way to buy time. Very cost effective. Wait, he just spent a lot of resources. Oh, double base pickups. Okay, why not? The Yodi the Builder doing his thing. Yeah, with combat repair, it's even making these rangers having an issue with the Vet 1 uh, Goliaths. That is actually hilarious. They're still losing. <laughs> Alright. There's some go uh, Grunt Riders on the opposite side expo on the EOD side, and they're getting killed by one Grunt with a skid on it. Uh, balanced. Confirmed. That's not even upgraded skits either. Yeah, they're just totally basic. Reavers are helping. <laughs> pea shooters, so pea. Alright, Yodi should have the pop at any moment, really. Uh, stop making units for a sec. Oh, reinforcements. Yeah, okay, that's good, too. One way to do it. I mean, it's nothing at home. Nothing. Up there's Dev Host coming in somewhere. Where is it? Uh, it's in behind. The locusts are at. It's behind Almy's main, but not on it. It's on the high ground. Okay. But with, um... I guess that kind of works. Vehicle symbiote, the race might be able to shoot down. Yeah, they can. There's gonna be a beam to counter. Probably kill the locust. Oof. Can you get the heal on this? No. Not quite. Too late. Where they trade? Let me go lie. It's on the base to try to help crack the shield now. Yeah, the braves can still shoot. That's fine. Hunter Captain is here now trying to deal with these locusts. There's quite a few of them. We up to six. Mm hmm. Yeah, you might want to get a few banshees and hunters here. Yeah. But Ami has no way of defending his main right now. And now there's more than enough DPS. There's another locust up on the high ground. He's building locusts from the foundry in the back. Whoa. With the Goliath. Some there. stuff right there. Yeah, he's trying to base trade. This is not a trade that he should be wanting to take, in my opinion. Wait, how does it have a veterancy? Excuse me? What? The locust. <laughs> See, but it's killing it up. I guess that one's the one alive, been alive for a while. But Almy's already lost three pads, four pads. EOD will probably lose this base. There's enough here with the Grunt Dome. It's going to make it hard. The Hunter Captain's on his way back, though. So he'll be able to... Oh, this defend. is tough. Is there going to be a teleport or something? There's going to be a shield like coming up, so he shield juggles, so he's going to be alive a little longer. Still nothing oh, to kill it. Oh, it's not in time. Wow, I was talking back at Ami's side. <laughs> oh, right. On Ami's main. Ami rebuilt the shield, but the base is about to fall. Ami's going to lose his main. Yeah, that's still a disaster. I mean, EOD has other bases to go with. Oh my God. Did that hunter if EOD the has the heads up play, he can wall his it. army off. <laughs> The Hunter Captain needs to come back and deal with this. The base is gone. Yeah. Almy's main is gone. Yeah, he's working on it, and I think EOD is definitely ahead in this base trade by a lot. Should be more than fine. He's got other bases to work with. He's upgrading them. They'll buy some time. Here is the Capitano. Yep, there's one Locust dead. And that taunt. He can sacrifice this gets. guy. That's two Locust dead. He just needs to kill enough. 
slow it. Oh my the god, army down. them all. Just the one left. Uh, I see three. Okay. Reverse, please. <laughs> Shoot the vehicle. He kill, does kill a locust with them. Still has one anti vehicle turret. The healing, self healing is going to help. He does re grab that last base, so the only thing left is Almy's base up here, up high. But the low, that yeah, one locust already cracked everything. the shield. By the way, guys, when you sell stuff, make sure to do the shield generator first. That's the most expensive oh, thing you my. have. Oh my, do it, the please don't shoot me. Neither player has a strong eco at the moment, but nope. the popu uh, the uh, pads currently are in EOD's favor. He has six of the minis at the moment. He's trying to rebuild the Hunter Captain, but he gets scouted out by the uh, Locust. Oh, if only he had a Hunter Captain. Wow, thing. that's so annoying. There's Reavers here, maybe they're enough to help. Uh, they're not following. Put the Goliath drop on there to try to save it. I don't like that. Just put it on the main you're trying to kill. Yeah, he's not got enough stuff, I think, to kill it. Yeah, Almi ended up coming home. There is Vet 2 Hunters here, so a lot of these units are dying. The race yeah, as you well. Know what? I gotta say, this trip is good enough. Like, EOD can just run away from this. He's got all the minis on the map. Only thing is those two locusts behind is troubling for him. Look how slow the resources for Ami are moving. My goodness. Eody's almost twice the rate. Once again, he's working on the stripping. There's a beam on that army. Mm. He teleports away. Good counter kill. Oh, but it's the on other the side. side. Oh, heads up play. <laughs> I love it. Doesn't mean that hunt That's harvester hot. Uh, stays alive. He's going to kill that last gen of Almies and the other harvester on the other side. Whoa, that's great. The grunt dome. Another now. harvester will go down as well, it looks like. Not. Yeti lo losing the expo on his main. But he's eventually going to lose the uh, grunt riders to Reaver, skit Reavers. <laughs> they did quite a bit of damage These are insane. Too. But I think there's enough to make them do one unit and that's much it. Yeah, you'll have to micro. Oh, there's one locust left alive. Goliath's trying to run it down, but they can't do any damage. They've already rammed. Too thick. Oh my god, he walled off the front of the base. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Ami somehow managed to upgrade the base, by the way. But, like, here is EOD with a million bases, so who cares? He's fine. Yep. Man's got, like, a million pads. Uh, Goliath finally found the Locust, and it's going down. Big pickup, surprisingly. That actually is pretty big, because that was the main DPS on Almi's side of the map. I guess that is actually EOD's old side of the map. Oh, he's taking it back. It's it's okay. <laughs> yep. So that's still the original devastating host. I was just wondering this. We don't have a new one. It is because I only see one hunter. But but the, it's to that point. I was just thinking that he could have that off cooldown soon. Yeah. Because he have the eco for it. So even if know. he kind of loses the fight, which looks doubtful to me, he can't call in another soon. Oh, that was a bad taunt, bro. Nice Still run down double front. Was that double front? Oh, the mine's under. Oh my. Did some damage, but like, Eli's happy with this, I would say. out to the other side of we'll the base. Please don't shoot me to counter. Oh. Goliath drop here. Yeah. But... Ami's not getting a shield, that's for sure. EOD can call in another Devastating Host whenever he feels like it. He should honestly just grab all the units he's got and go. He has every base on the map besides this one now. Even minis. Ami's literally sitting on one pad and... I mean, and EOD isn't even a scout. He knows it. He literally has every other pad on the map. Yep. Big taunt there. Well, I'd like to congratulate Ami on getting... Uh, all veteran heroes. Oh, big! 
hundred percent level three. He wants to congratulate him too. Yeah, he couldn't. He couldn't counter that because he ta got taunted, so his units couldn't Y ability. Oh my God, EOD might win today, guys. He's one game away from being our season three champion. Nobody would have guessed this. Gamers around the world. We have got EOD's partner set playing Pavium. He's really spicing this up. Definitely. And then we got Almiranti on the other side going Cutter. Big map. Yeah, Cutter is usually good here. But Pavium can make some stuff happen that is absolutely terrifying. You can go for some Marauders in tier 2 and just run around and do work while you empower your economy. With burnout, which is happening right now. Oh, there's drop in the triple chopper opener could be a thing. Yeah, he, he Sorry, what's a that? grunt instead. Um, oh, okay. So he, oh, he went chopper first, one chopper, then built a second grunt, or I guess the first, first grunt. <laughs> he was trying to go for. No, he's actually gone straight for the power on Almirante's side. Yeah, Three I think he's he, he could grab the middle mini. I mean, That'll look, he's getting... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, he's going for... He's leaving. Mini. Yeah, if he... Oh, he's going to go because back. So... He just wanted to kill the Marine in case it's there. Well, here's the thing. He grabbed the... He's going to grab the back power there. He grabbed the power by Ami's node as well. Ami has no power to grab minus the single bundles. Are you serious? I just... Yeah, I'm just looking at the grunts. You're right. He, he's grabbing all the power. What is Ami even doing? I mean... He's grabbed himself... Uh little bit up in the on the ridge that's it mm -hmm. and that's only two, a single on either side so Almi's done three of those so he's 3x the power if he got both bundles on either side perfect timing for the jackrabbit to show up because the chopper's already done with the power collection he's gonna be able to put some <laughs> in there. now the jackrabbit's gotta run right now both players grabbing the far outside minis on their each other side and both of them getting a double mini in the middle. So minis are even, despite all this. EOD going for another Harvester on his main. I was wondering if he's going to... Yeah, you know, it's just a tech that's going to go absolutely insane now for EOD. Once he gets a second gen as well. It's going to be a bit later, of course. Looks like he's more interested in getting out a few uh, Brutes, perhaps. He already has one Brute. Fight that mini. There's a jackrabbit there, but he's gonna run into two grunts. Should be able to kill. Yeah, it's nice to hit the base where a barracks is being made right now, so. Those grunts should be able to. Good call. Kill that. Or now it's back up. I don't like the way he built his base for EOD. Number one, he didn't. Oh, burn out. He yeah. hasn't built a s on second gen, which is he can afford to do with the amount of harvesters he has around the map. Mm -hmm. But he's really pumping hard right now. Yeah, he's more interested in taking over the minis, it seems. Yeah, but I don't know if he's going to be able to kill this. The flamer's going to kill both the brutes. Need to split those brutes. Yeah, right. He does have grenade it's throw? Not going to go down. On the grunts, but is that enough damage? There's two more grunts coming from behind. He's pumping out like crazy at the moment. Oh, he's hitting the flamers with it. That's the worst possible. Big slam though with that brute. He's killing some units, but he needs to kill that pad. So okay, he now he might get the mini down. Yep, and he will. Now, is there enough here to kill the army? Is the question. Yeah, not the Hellbringers. They they are a little too tough. You would need several extra hammer brutes. Yeah, he gets the mini though. That's a big moment for him. Mm -hmm. Where's this Spartan anyway? Went Way back over to on home. his own spot. Yeah, there was a brute 
uh, or grunt over there. Oh. Killing that mini. I think it was a brute, because EOD's got uh, a raid camp on that side mini there. Okay, very interesting anyway. It looks like most of the units have been dealt with, just a handful of Hellbringers left. Uh, I'm actually probably looking for some kind what? of ODST timing. EOD going it's coming soon. War Council on his main. He had 500 supply, he decides not to go for second gem, but to go to War Council. That is strange. I mean, they were helping against the ODSTs, but the ODSTs are hitting now. It's, it's a little late. Yeah, you either got to do that early, or you might as well just build a raid camp there for Sui's or something. There is a raid camp on the outside, so you can build Sui's over there. The outside mini. Sadly, it's not happening right now. There's uh, turrets armies, going to finish. ODSTs should be hitting any moment. There they are. Oh, <laughs> that one? That actually will save it. Very cool. Very, yeah, that's guaranteed <laughs> to save it. And with the turret there, there's the no one TPS. turret. Never forget, guys, the one turret meta. Have it by four minutes, you're basically good. Oh my god, he sold the building. He's not making a hero. <laughs> Time to slap down the gem. Yep. Nice. Man. EOD is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Playing like a madman. No notes have been taken yet. As I say that, EOD just finishes the first one on his side. And now Almi gets his right here, so it's now one mint, uh, no one one node to one. Almi is on double uh, gen as well now. Yeah, but he's got like more no minis. That's such a yeah. tough situation. Yeah. Not that Cutter can't come back. Right. Uh, to be clear, it's just tough. He's down to one mini. He's actually okay. Those were just grunts. So I was gonna say his last mini, his only mini had units on it. First expo going in for EOD. So is EOD gonna get an expo? Yes, he is. Yep, and he's getting more and more nodes around the map. He's clearing out the ones on his right hand side. This one's getting taken by Almi, but he's already got a second one somewhere else. Oh, so, I'm a little worried for EOD because once Ami builds up to the fifth point, this base is looking like a really juicy target. There's gonna be a ton of Hellbringers, which can be upgraded to Dispersion also once. Ami is almost ready to click up to tier 2 himself. Yeah, good taking you. over the minis yeah. again. But on fifth point, you gotta remember there's, there's a Lich in return. And with all this going around the map, yeah. EOD is gonna be able to stick around with the uh, population. Or, uh, oh yeah, I mean, he's control. got this hidden grunt. Look at that ledge. I, I've never seen people hide stuff there. This is so good. And a lich on the main of a UNSC base is guaranteed to do quite a bit if nothing's around. Yep. And I'm not sure if, if he's actually picked. Yeah, he's got Burnout 2, not free, which means he probably has Reign of Fire. Wait, wait, no, no, he got the heal. Yeah, he never got the mind. Heal. He still might pick Reign of Fire fourth point, though. I'm I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna say I want him to go me mega turrets. <laughs> I know he won't, he won't for a while, but if this goes long, this is a great mega turret uh, map, just because of the staggered right. nature of the expos. Well, you can definitely shell those mini bases and protect your your power nodes with them. I think yep. if I remember correctly. Yeah, and the way that those teleporters are, uh, you just you can go scare or something like that, or like a full pop armory, jump through the teleport and then lich the expo on the other side of it. So it's very easy for you to just counter anytime you want on the other side. Only way um, Cutter can do that is with vultures, really. Yeah, other, other than now. this stuff that we're seeing, there's not much going on for 
you need right now. Getting a third gen, I guess. That's that's worth a shout out. Yeah, he's double pumping elite rangers with his hero. Yep. Hero is up. Designated shells are in. Against color. Oh, there's a star on the Spartan. Did you just mention that? I'm sorry. I'm zoning out a little. <laughs> it's been a long day. No, you're good. I like all these random units on all the in all the places. Like you said, it's a big map. Very easy to get into the base of someone, and that legit. We're we're getting to that point right now. Um, he's not too far from the big drop, but he's full pop, which means he can't do it. Especially if he's upgrading pads and the like. No population upgrades. He's probably gonna want to upgrade the base. The EAD is. And here comes EOD. On fifth point in just a second. Now, uh, what does he decide to do with it? If he moves that grunt up to the garrison on Almi's main and liches the main, it'll be the biggest brain play he can do right now. I mean, it's a very mm -hmm. common thing to do, but just to do it, there's really nothing here to stop him. He's got vision on this bottom expo. He could lich that if he decides to. He's looking, he just went and looked at it. Oh, oh, he's oh, doing it! He's, he's doing, doing the big exactly what one. I was talking about. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. He has the Lich. He doesn't have the Eco Fort quite yet. And Almi sees that, by the way. He just saw the unit move up. He looked at it. He's all uniting everything back. So EOD needs to do it now. And there it is. There it is. Yeah, Almi can... He can just barely see that thanks to the Watchtower. Yeah, he has double Watchtower in order to see that. There's the night jail. Just gonna tank quite a bit of damage, actually. Oh, you know what? The night jail can smoke this. Yep, he already has a uh, reaver here. To kill the night jail. But what this is doing, it's forcing Almi to move everything back, and in the meantime, EOD is just doing a lot of stuff around the map. Yeah, EOD thinks. One pad. Another Reaver pops out. <laughs> yep, killing some. It won't do kills. anything though. It's kind of expensive. And it's really just buying time. Yep. Wasn't obviously the best uh, Lich in the world, but it definitely got some usage done. Gave EOD some map control back. He's already cleared out one uh, mini, the double mini. And he's taken back two nodes. He's working on infantry upgrade level 2, I think, just now. Yep. Yeah, we'll grab another mini over here. Doesn't have any base damage now that the Lich is gone. There's also not many uh, Rangers nearby. Almy's gonna make a push for him himself. UD needs to get back quickly. Yeah, this is not something you want to really ignore. Especially with army reaching 100 population space in the moment. These base is probably toast. Yeah, it does have burnout 3, by the way. Mm-hmm. That would generally mean that he doesn't have a rain of fire yet. He could get it now. He just got another leader point. There is a Brute down there, so that's doing a decent amount of damage for now. Getting the gen is nice. It's not cheap. Yeah, he, he, Almi will get the third base of EOD. There's pretty much no way to avoid that. But what else does he do? Because EOD is actually getting brute, has Brutes on the... He has Dark Skies Brutes, oh my god. Oh, my, my headset is dying, wonderful. Oh no. This base actually might die. It's red bar now for Almirante. There's nothing here to defend it, but Almirante's on EOD. There's more brutes! Do you think EOD's going for the base trade? This is crazy, dude. Not without Lich, he'll lose it. He well, is holding um, a leader point. He has he's close probably, air support. Yeah. There's a shield base with turrets and a couple brutes. It's not a lot. But that base is dead, so EOD can fall back now. And EOD's doing enough on that other expo that where the dark size brutes is just bringing that thing to half health. There's a nightingale here to heal it, but he's all uniting everything back. Doesn't have a whole lot now. There's a close air. 
There's the Rain of Fire. Big slam combo with it, too. So oh, it's my God. He was able to keep him stuck in it for a little bit. But yeah, that is very nice. The turrets are upgrading to anti-air, I would assume. No, no. Anti-infantry, I think. Vehicle? What? There's a lot of That's a here, misclick. Actually. Two Sui's in the Suicide mix. Suicide grunts right in the middle. Oh, Ooh, my. That was good. You just got to somehow kill that uh, Nightingale. The grunts are here. There's the heal. One of the uh, close air planes went down. Shields are down. Where is the Pavium, man? There's a lot of Rangers coming in. I think this might be a hold for EOD, but he's still going to have to deal with the uh, ODST assault group as well as the regular ODSTs. They're going to catch an army that doesn't look that important to EOD right now. Yeah, but there's a lot of Rangers coming in, and he has the Y ability for the yep. hero. He can Y ability that, the, that one hero if he wants. There it is, but That's what the, he's range, doing. And the Rangers the Rangers are ordered to chase it. And they're not. They're not quite right, though. Ooh, that drop right on top of the hero is a problem. There's a lot of Rangers here. That hero is dead. There's nothing, there's no production on this main here. Lot getting pumped out from the other base. Pav getting rebuilt. Yeah, the Rangers seconds. are doing work, but what about the tank? Spartans coming in too. Uh oh. Oh no. No doubt it has slam ready in a sec. Oh my goodness. The yeah, tank's gonna delete the Rangers like this. <laughs> They're made of paper, man. <laughs> Yeah, there's an archer missile. A lot is going down here. He has the leader point to heal uh, buildings. Interesting. UD still has the econ to keep this up. Almi doesn't have any money here. But he has 92 population. Fabian is back up. Does he have enough here to de defend? Oh, you know what else is back up? Lich. Meanwhile, EOD is wrecking the Expo of Army. Both of them. He's going for both of them. And the Lich probably getting called down soon in the main. There is a Nightingale on the main and another one being built, so he could smoke that off. Problem is he has no True, power okay. income at the moment, EOD does, and he has one gen. There's the Lich on the main, slowly. but he also has Brutes with it this time. Even one Dark Size Brute is enough. There's the smoke. He will not have heal on it this time. That was all of Yogi's power. Distract the turrets. There's a Reaver. Reaver did was able to get out. That's pretty big, so there's not gonna be a healing factor. There's nothing coming back to support this, so if the the Lich can get onto the base, it'll do some damage. During Villa's back. Not that the Lich needs it. Yeah, but he doesn't have the eco for it. Yeah, the smokes are what's doing it for Almirante. Rain of fire's in. Let's kill another Nightingale. He's trying so hard. Good job, Servant. The Rain of Fire would actually be pretty good right now. Probably get rid of three of those supply pads. Yeah, true. It's the fine. army is fairly rich. Oh, it is the heal. Yeah, the constant lighting of production is really working out here. Yep. When the army is coming home. Besides, I think he doesn't need them. Yeah, he doesn't really have the power to keep this up, though. Well, 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 very slowly, but surely EOD is cleaning up what has been left behind. But Army has many, many upgraded bases now. Seven slots, even. Uh, he did lose the Expo in the end. But uh, EOD's other North Expo is now in trouble. There's no holding this army. Space Trade City all over. No more others have been made the whole game. EOD... Would be able to spend those supplies though if he had foundries. 
Yeah. But no, he's basically going make down for sure. Extractor. There's no and Nightingale's close by. There's no uh, healed either. He just used it on the main to counter the Lich. Almi sacking everything on that base, but that was an upgraded base with seven cats. Yeah, that's the problem. Ami could have been tier three. He still can though. <laughs> he's doing it, I think. He upgraded his other expo. Yeah, he's upgrading his other expo to keep it a little more fortified. Interesting. UD doing a decent job trying to get nodes around the map. He's got got one himself. He's getting two more to make it three. Man, I really don't know about this triple gen at home. Oh my god. EOD is way too greedy. Oh my god. So we need yeah. four gens right now? Well, I mean, he had a lot of supply. It's gone now, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's all it. gone. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he does have burnout to support this. Yeah, I guess. I mean, in a base trade situation, if you get, he has uh, full salvage. So, if he continuously base trades, every time he sells his pads, they're free. Or they're not free, they're, they're whatever he paid for them. But can he defend yeah. this? That's the question. His hero is here. There's a close air. Oh man, close air support again. This is pretty much the Yeah, that's side. really and tough. Can he hold this? Ami um, gets up to three bases now and even hurts oh, this that was a little bit. Early heal. Because the shield's not procced yet. Is that an upgrade enduring will? That isn't an upgrade enduring will. That's too big to be a normal one. That thing will last a long time. Let's yeah, get the sure. Stewie's off before that goes in. So that hero is actually already uh, lost its shield. Yeah, he's just healing himself up. Don't think Getting targeted good. down a little bit, but the oh. smoke is gonna stop it. Close air is here. Is gone. I mean. He needs to move the Pavium. Big rain of Ooh, fire, rain actually. Of fire is really good. Is nice split, though, from all me going both directions here. Hero is dead. Pavium hero is dead. There's still a lot of rangers here, but can he kill the Spartan is the question. A nope. Nope. Is the answer. All right, I'm going to wow, charge game. my headset <laughs> between games, because otherwise it's not going to... All good. Small map, small map, small back. Oh look, a generally big map. <laughs> Such an EOD thing. Oh my. This could work out well. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. Let's go to EOD. In the blue color, we have got our Arbiter player. This is EOD Spot and Seb. Looking to change up who wins. And over on the red side, we have all Monte. Going Forge, this is the matchup we saw earlier with Hero, I believe it was Hero. And, um, who was the other person? I think it was Rock. Was it Rock? Yeah, yeah, he did the early Phantom nonsense. Mm -hmm. I can't remember who the, uh, Forge was. Either way, he left his base with phantoms and got him nuked and then he got killed by vultures <laughs> as he was attempting to essentially turtle up surprisingly no one going for the upward power immediately first one to get it yeah that's the norm in this but i think eod might be rushing with his bottom oh, never mind you, usually when you really hurry up with this bottom mini base, you want you want to rush, but that's not the case here. So Ghost is gonna end up going up north. New team might get like two mini bases up here actually. If he gets that other one, which he looks like he's going to, it'll be a four to one advantage, which is huge. Eh, 
It's possible that Ambi will get the north one, but not very likely, to be honest. He's running to it. It's going to be close. Yeah, he's trying to get there. Yeah, he's looking as well. Oh, Ami gets it. Ami gets Pretty it. Pretty big. Nice. So this is a very winnable match for both sides, I think. But with the mini base advantage going the Arby's way, it's it's already a brutal situation uh, playing against Arbiter Ghosts because they'll be supported by Conduit of Rage, they'll be supported by Stasis Mines. You don't really want to deal with that stuff, but you're gonna have to. I didn't think there was an option here, but it looks like uh, EOD is holding his leader points, despite almost certainly going mines, I believe. Mines got him in a rage. EOD is all. Stop picking. <laughs> it should be that, though. Mm hmm. He's already going and trying to clear out that other mini that was taken on his side. There's an enforcer over there. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I'm curious, though. Are we not going to see ghosts? Because if not, then Ami will just outnumber him with jackrabbits. Okay, they're finally coming. It's going to be an apex here? Oh, lord. What? That's great, Cray. <laughs> He's got to be a Forchog as well, so this is tough. He's a little bit behind this. There's already three jackrabbits here. Four. That is vehicle shooting is up though. So the ghosts that are coming in will be already upgraded. Yeah, whereas the rabbits aren't. Ami is getting the support drone though. And there are five rabbits now plus a four chug. This is not something you want to engage until you have 10 plus. Dude, he's putting up a turret, but it's a little slow. 30 seconds out. He is double gen at the home as well. Um, he's heading there. He'll be able to quad pump ghosts in a second, but... Oh, the turret just about doesn't finish up. And there was no conduit to Rage proc on it. So it just goes down immediately. EOD will need to help for you. have help to defend this. Ugh. You know, I, I think you can't make enforcers and all that nonsense. You just have to spam ghosts like there's no tomorrow. It's the only unit that exists. Forge. Army's forge especially just too clean to allow for... Uh, shenanigans like that. Kill a couple units there. There is an engineer here. He can just get it. Sure is helpful. Yeah, he needs a turret up. Surely he needs some, some consistent DPS in this army. There's a stasis. It was the only place, sadly. There's really nothing left for EOD here. Uh, try to keep the turn. That's a sensor tower in the back. What's that doing here? I have no idea. I think he was trying to use that to, as bait. But, um, that was a quick one. Which I. Ooh, dude. We're going to the last game. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here on the final map of the finals, of the final tournament of the season and the final tournament of the year, the final meta place uh, game of the year probably in Halo Wars 2, EOD, Spartan Seb, blue color, Decimus. In the red we have Almirante going Colony. <clears throat> Ooh. 
So far, no big shenanigans. Actually, the players are mirroring each other, both going for the out outward power. There is a chopper now for EOD in the middle on Almi's grunt. There's two skitters coming, actually, to defend this grunt. Yeah, Ami likes to go with, like, four skits and stuff like that. I don't know if it's worth putting on that grunt now. Yeah, probably not. Like, just... Just keep the skits together. And run around like that. Looks like the side power is gonna be shared for, for the most part. EOD is picking up the base there. And the middle is kind of being left alone. Chopper's good. Chopper could go for it. Ami's getting one of his own. It's not the four skit variant of his build. And also he can pick up a mini base. Beauty going Warlord early. It's not a bad idea. I don't dislike it. No, I don't. I don't either. That chopper though is doing a lot of work with the skit. Ooh, the ram is doing so, so much damage. You might as well counter ram and get as much damage on the thing as you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Choppers and skits coming out of Ami. He's probably gonna add Goliaths to this as well. You will need some solid defense. Warlord is gonna be one of the things he'll have. Curious what he adds to it. He does have a great camp coming up. Might be just jump back brutes. He's again holding two leader points. Basically, as she's killing Frenzy or Vortex early. I don't think there's a world where you don't go Vortex here. Yeah, I guess all those Goliaths you'll need to. Mm -hmm. Double Goliath pump. Actually, one Sui pump on the mini up top. No scout on that either, so he has no idea what it is. Double chop skid. Dangerous waters here for EOD, but he does have a Warlord. Yeah, Siphon and Vortex I think is the key here. I'd imagine that as well. Don't go killing Frenzy, because it won't help you. <laughs> not early, at least. <laughs> it's not a bad power, just for what we're seeing right now. It's maybe not the way. Still holding them. It's good that he's staying nearby to the main base. Not getting baited. But he does have high armor pull, so he should be able to pull in one of the chopper skits at a time. There's a bunch of Goliaths going around the back of Yudi's base. Yudi does have one turret. They're trying to edge closer and closer. I think they're going to connect now with that extractor in the back. It's time for Yudi to all units back home and to hit that vortex or else. Yeah, you can just pull the Goliaths off the base, actually. He still has That's a charge. True. Yeah, it still has a charge. He should be able to hit them both, but maybe he's just going to liability. Oh, oh, he free. That was bad. Yeah. He did that liability from a long ways away. He does pull one Goliath. Now he pulls it back into the liability's infusion. So he actually kind of saves himself a little bit there. But. Yeah, that wasn't too bad in the end. Goliaths are going to get smacked down in the end. Yep. Not too bad. But there's more where that came from. There's gonna be choppers, there's gonna be goliaths. Maybe even some suis. Ami's not done, not even close. Those kill the other um, goliaths. And EOD's, EOD's poor, poor extractor is suffering. Like you said in one of the previous casts, that's one of Decimus' weaknesses. You hurt their buildings, they can't heal it without the NGs. Definitely, and then behind this, Almirante is in double gen. AD is definitely going to struggle here if he's not careful. Can't lose that mini. Or at least he has to kill EO, uh, sorry, Ami's mini. 
This is a pretty big problem. I don't necessarily like that EOD is locking the base and making more units. By the way, he went killing Frenzy. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh man! It's not the worst thing in the world because the the hero is what he's really relying on, and every time it kills a unit, it gets a damage boost, so it could really tear through units quickly, like one after another after another. But obviously, without vortex, you saw what happened. Oh. The beam, it saved the base. Unbelievable! Wow, that's actually huge. Although there that is a grunt nice. up top with vision that can just drop in Goliaths here soon. Okay, what about Vortex on that extractor of army? And, uh, that... that should go down. There it is. Oh, he's gonna Goliath it. Drop it. Uh, there, yeah, there's two things going at the same time. There's Brutes on Ami's main. There's Goliaths on oh EOD's main. This is game it's three, everybody. Or game seven, sorry. Oh, it's game three of this. Uh, we'll three. go back. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll adjust the score. Right. <laughs> Seriously. So uh, we're out of it, man. It's, it's such a long day. <laughs> he does lose that uh, gen. Ami does. EOD losing a gen as well. But the problem is, for EOD, he only had one gen. EOD or Ami had two. Yeah, that's that's trouble. And there's a suicide grand squad here to help defend now. Ooh, that's a very nice hit. Oh, and there's another Sui coming around the front. The DoD is in so much trouble. He's got a lot of units still to send. But can he actually get that gen down? He really needs to. It's nice that he's been owning this uh, power node for a while, though. That's been helpful. Yeah. Maybe he can take away Ami's mini. He'd be able to. I think. But the hero he Y builded. But then, meanwhile, Ami is on 600 plus power. It's a pretty good spot to be in. Yeah, a lot of brutes here on the, the mini base now, so we'll get that mini kill. Is that Suis? Oh, yeah. You know what's funny? If the suicide grunts Stop. die, if you do any sort of damage to it, you get the uh, killing frenzy proc. So it actually allows <laughs> you to get more damage. That. Yeah. So you could just put, see the little blue arrow go up on some of the units that were getting hit by the Sui's. So if they smack their hammer, does any splash damage on them, they'll get the proc. That is pretty funny, gonna say. So well, you know. if these remaining units of EOD can get on that generator, even if it's just a hero plus Vortex again, that should do the trick. Yeah, is he gonna YOLO this hero? Apparently. He could get. He shouldn't have Y ability back yet. He just used it. Uh, it I guess he timed it well. Just uh, use it on the mini. It's doing a lot of work. Oh, he man. just got. Uh, oh, he's auto canceling. That's boundless siphon. Yeah, he has a lot of boundless siphon now. If he gets this kill and gets out. Oh, he's trying to kill the. No, don't do that. Why is he going for the skit? Oh, he's running away. I don't think he has Vortex back yet. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's gonna die. Oh! <gasps> oh my. No yeah, way. With the <laughs> insane jukes to keep Get out alive, of here. that is unbelievable. And then these brutes, he didn't need to finish off the gen because he could just come in here, slam the brutes onto the skit to kill that. And, then and guess what they're again. healing! And guess what? He has Vortex! Oh my god! Ami is going to be absolutely skewered here! He's gonna go kill that other gen, and at this point... He has this guy's a shish kebab right now! The only income he has for power is the one node, in which four grunts uh, are standing next to. Hunter's brand on the other side doing some work, but is it even gonna be enough? The counter beam comes in! Ami trying to split, but it's not enough! EOD <laughs> with the main jukes to keep his hero alive. That thing's gonna is in the back, and he can walk right back up and do it again. I oh. <laughs> EOD's mini surviving on that one sliver of health. By the way, it's still going. Yeah, right. Warlord's back with full shields. He could go for it. Yep, EOD isn't still on tech one, but. Almirante is tech 2. Um, uh, 
Where's Yoni's tech one? <laughs> Homie's just struggling for power at the moment. He does end up clearing out a node, so he's gonna get one back for himself. The Warlord. It's This is such a strange game, Captain. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm un speechless, man. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> this game, all so many of these games are just on a knife's edge. I mean. If, if he, if he wants to just end this, he just saves up a thousand yellow and just drops a warlord on that uh, army's main. Yes, absolutely. You know, army might be tier two, but he doesn't actually have anything going for him. So there's that. We got this warlord healing now. Getting to some acceptable health levels there. You know, he can take power notes and all that. In tier two himself, he's working on the expo. He's got both of the mini bases. What more do you want? Just have to be careful though, because Almirante is getting to the point where he'll have combat repair, and combat repair can stand up to boundless siphon pretty well, as long as the numbers aren't insane. He does have a uh, oh wait, never mind. That's the uh, Yodi's hero. As I say, I thought I saw a work. Hey, uh. <laughs> Hunter, Captain, wrong color. I'm looking at stars on the map. Losing my mind here. I love how you shoot three turrets, shoot a garrison grunt, and it doesn't take any damage. Don't you love that? Yeah. <laughs> all the boards are just the actual units. Okay, the garrisons might need a fix. One of those things for the idea section on our website that we should send to free for free when it's big enough. Yeah. There's no way that's intended. Oh, the skits coming in here now. Here comes the warlord. There's a tech two warlord now. There's the drop I was talking about. Oh, hello there. It's the big boy. All he needs to just stall the for a little. He's not using the wall. We are beam. Oh my god, that pulled in two rangers. And slap. I was gonna say, Almy needs to get We're the next hit point. Now. He's so close. <laughs> Where is the beam, man? <laughs> uh, oh, we're just gonna vortex it first. He yeah, should be able to drop of rot off of that, and why? Okay, goodbye, extractors. Goodbye, buildings in general. Goodbye, Amarante99, as this tournament belongs to EOD Spartan Seb. The first time tournament champion at the MetaPlace League. I'm sorry, tournament champion? He's a freaking league champion. That's how good he is. Made absolute magic happen in this tournament, in this series especially. It was absolutely bonkers what he. Oh my god. Yeah, there's that post. Did I speak too soon? <laughs> no, <laughs> you didn't. It's over. <laughs> yeah, there's I'd be shocked if. Uh, yep. Yeah. And he doesn't one have star combat on this guy. He, did that. he has no way of healing the base. The base is on red bar. There is three turrets sitting here, though. But uh, that's oh, another... <laughs> I don't think it's enough. Yeah, no. The, the, raid, the, the thing that could do the most damage here is just getting bounced around. Also, Almy doesn't have any more than 33 power. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to counter harass with his Banshee, but there's like a grunt and... Nope. No more Yo, drops, no more anything. Pulling off an Ash Ketchum, upsetting the world champion. Actually, multiple. Yes, EOD is just that good. He is a certified top player as of today. Massive congrats to him. There's a first for everything. Oh my god. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable.
as we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind the scenes costs such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.